person, I would have been a hit y'all, and I didn't do. What's up, y'all would have been a hit, man. It ain't me, man. I don't, I'm ready to fight y'all. I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to get right to it today, y'all. They hasn't had me pulled over since motherfucking goddamn. Hey, man, we got to hurry up and get the views up, y'all. Uh-uh. I mean, we got to get the subscribers up, man. Because Facebook, man, they slowing us down. Every damn time. It's, it, it's getting to the point, y'all, where I'm damn near. I can't even let y'all know when I'm going to go live. They hating so hard. You feel me? They don't want y'all to get this work. But listen. I'm going to give y'all this work, baby. I'm going to give y'all this work, baby. I don't know what they thought. Hey, whoever can't catch the night class, it wasn't meant for you to catch it. Catch it on your own time. But we gonna make it a night a night class tonight, y'all. I promise I apologize to all the guys and goddesses, man. I I've been outside the university since since six. They checking me for ID. I done pulled out ID, driver's license, everything. They still had me pinned up, y'all. It's crazy, man. Shut alive, man. We finna get right to it. You see, 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 when they when they piss me off, now I gotta come in on bullshit with them. I was gonna be a little light today. I was gonna be I was gonna be nice today. I, I was actually feeling good, y'all. I'm feeling quite good today, though. But guess what? Now we got to get on their ass, because they, they want to sit here and play these games. Yeah, I'm going to hit shit alive, man. So we're going to talk about these food spells. Then I got the PowerPoint pulled up. What we do last time? Hey, Zaza, be quiet. Pocahontas. Take care, take care of that for me. What we do last time, y'all? We had like 70-something slides, right? And I think we was at. It's a real night class night, y'all. It's a real night class. I, ain't, I Listen, whenever y'all wait, just know I ain't fucking around, because it's them. Check it out. Last time where we at y'all today? That's a 165. Hey, we got a we got 150, we got 165, whatever that just said slides. It's time to get busy. Alright? It's time to get busy, baby. Shed alive. Let me get a little more energy in me. Just a little bit more, y'all. And we gone. We gone. For sure. Facebook. They be trying to detail y'all from the information. That's what it be. 33, that's the master number. They be trying to detail y'all from the information, y'all. Mm -mm. We night class in the night. I'm on this bitch to 1. 2 a.m. I ain't fucking around tonight. Y'all hit me. Y'all go sleep if y'all want to. We up. Let's get right to it. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need some water for it. I'm real. I'm, hey, we on their ass tonight, y'all. We ain't fucking with them. Not, not tonight. They just made us wait how many hours? We been waiting since 6, right? Oh, okay, we don't trip. We gonna turn it. We doing the whole 4 hours. Facebook let you go live 4 hours. We going 4 hours straight. Food, we ain't finna play with them today. Mm -mm. No, nah, they don't want y'all to get this hot sauce. I'm going to get y'all this hot sauce, though. All right, let's get right to it. So, before we start, it's imperative that we start these lessons with the right spiritual energy. So, let me say peace to the guys and the guys that's tuned in. Almost 50 people tuned in on the late night. Let's get it. We, we, we got the night class tonight. Hold on. I got my point in class. We finna take off. All right? So, in case, you know, let's just stay focused here, people. We got to stay mindful of where we at. All right? This is a whole course we've been going over, okay? So, we still on the course. This is the overall course. What the course been like? This at least like a two. This been at least like a two week course, y'all. Now just on the spells, right? If you been here from day one, y'all know we have been on the spells like two weeks. You know what I'm saying? It's five of them today. We finna hit the full spell, all right? Sunday we doing the, the history spell, and we gonna be on to the origin story. It gets it gets deeper, but let's stay focused. So this is the overall course. The different spells used to keep the black slash Latinos in a deep sleep, all right? So we've been we've been touching on a little bit of how magic works thus far throughout the course and incantations and the different spells they're using. So we did the time spell already. All right. We did the money spell. OK, we did the sex spell. And tonight we finna do the food spell. And with that being said, let's get right to it, man. We got a lot to discuss because I know a lot of people think they know what food is, but I'm gonna be real with y'all. A lot of us really don't. And I've been telling y'all that y'all gods and that to be honest, you really don't need food. You're not really supposed to even eat food, people. You're not supposed to eat food, people. We're going to find out why tonight. See, please, tonight we decoded some shit, all right? Now, a lot of y'all might be mad after watching this. I'm trying to warn you before we get started. So if you know, you know, I'm letting you know now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't going to know what to eat when I get through breaking this down for y'all. We're going we gonna to work through it, though. We on the same page. Let's get it. All right, so what is food? Okay, now, that might seem like a, a redundant question, right? Everybody would assume that, like, I know what food is, but nah. That's not how research work, people. Let's go to Wikipedia. We got to start with the basics. See, when we dig in, we need to start with the basics. Because a lot, a lot of us think we know what we don't know. All right? So whenever you research and go, go research everything. A lot of us, we go off the definitions that we were told. You know, how many of us really took the time as adults to go back 
and retract what these teachers taught us in, in their mental programming centers, okay? So, what is the definition of food? Any nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink or that plants absorb in order to maintain life and growth, okay? I'm going to read that back. What this is the definition of food? Any nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink or that plants absorb. Keep in mind, we know who people are if you've been keeping up. People are human beings, okay? We know who animals are. We are not animals, but we are plant-based, okay? We are gods, but we are plant-based, all right? Which is why we supposed to eat full-time energy from the sun and not meat. But we're going we to get deep tonight. We're just getting started. We're going to get deep, so let's stay focused, all right? So, the, nef the definition clearly says, one last time, any nutritious substance that people or animals eat or drink or that plants absorb in order to maintain life and growth, all right? Let's stay focused. Let's stay focused, all right? Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, so, what is protein, all right? Because, see, when we talking about food, hold on, when we talking about food, let's go back. We looked at the definition of food right here, right? All right? When we talking about food, okay? All right? And then we coming right here, and we talking about protein, all right? And scientists say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's pull up the definition of protein first, people. Share this live. Yeah, we getting deep tonight. We getting deep. We, we going to break down why the gods, blacks and Latinos, are not supposed to eat food at all. Facts. I'm going to show it to y'all. I'm going to decode it right here on live tonight in front of the whole world. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to crack this cookie tonight. All right? Stay focused, people. So we on what is protein. All right? Let's see what Google, what, what Wikipedia says what protein is. Because, you know, we, we think we know what we know, but we only know what we was taught, which was nothing. All right? So let's see what Wiki has to say. We ain't got to click all the way in there. They say proteins are essential nutrients for the human body. So essential means you need them. All right? They are one of the building blocks of body tissue and can also serve as a fuel source. As a fuel, proteins provide as much energy density as carbohydrates. Okay? Don't, don't trip if you don't know exactly what carbohydrates are. We're going to get to that next. But let's just stay focused. We're on protein right now. We just looked up food. All right? So proteins are essential nutrients for the human body. They are one of the building blocks of body tissue. Okay? Which is why scientists also say they're one of the 19 important amino acids. But we're going to keep reading the definition. They are one of the building blocks of body tissue and can also serve as a fuel source. As a fuel, proteins provide as much energy density as carbohydrates. All right. Now, let's go back to the PowerPoint, people. Let's stay focused. All right. So scientists say that protein is one of the 19 amino acids and it's one of the building blocks of life. All right. Which is the same thing they were telling you right here in the definition when they were saying that proteins are essential nutrients for the human body. They are one of the building blocks of body tissue. So. We looked up food, all right? When we looked up food, food is basically listed as proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, okay? Which led us to looking up what is protein, okay? So scientists say that protein is one of the 19 amino acids and it's one of the building blocks of life. So scientists say that we need protein, right? Okay, cool. But if we need protein, hold on, hold on, hold on. Scientists say, now we looked up what is food, right? So food breaks down to these three things in the definition. Foods break down to carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, all right? So that's, t that's what they say in food is, okay? Now... When we looked up what is protein, they said the protein is one of the essential 19 amino acids and one of the building blocks of life. So they tell you that you need protein to survive, correct? All right. Then explain this to me, people. Let's go to the next slide. Somebody explain this to me. All right. This is the silverback gorilla who can live up to 115 years in the wild without protein. I repeat. All right. Scientists say, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about nothing. We, we, we got everything, baby. We got everything, all right? Now, scientists, has, they telling us, because I'm telling y'all that y'all do not need food at all. The only food, this is my thesis, right? Let me, let me let the class know my thesis, all right? Y'all know I'm going to tie everything together for y'all. But this is my thesis. Remember, before it's proven to you, that we, the gods, electrical beings, do not need food at all. The only thing that we need is water and energy from the sunlight, which is full-time energy because we are plant-based. This is what I know to be a fact, all right? And I'm going to prove it to you tonight in this course. So... We just looked up what food was, right? And they told us that food is breaks down to protein, fats, and carbohydrates, all right? It's basically food. We're looking up what protein is, all right? We looked at the definition. Scientists say that protein, y'all can research this yourself, okay? Scientists say that protein is one of the 19 amino acids, and it's one of the building blocks of life. They use the term building block because they're saying that without this in your body, you cannot have a healthy body. Keep in mind, they tell you that, you, that your body needs food. When you go look up any any any... Any food or any carbohydrate, protein, anything, they're going to tell you that you that the body needs it. Keep that in your mind. Your body needs it, all right? 
But I just showed y'all, and y'all can research for y'all self, okay? Because this is very important tonight in this class. I need y'all to keep, keep this in y'all mind. The scientists have taught us, all right, that protein is one of the 19 essential amino acids, and it's one of the building blocks of life, okay? Now, my question is this to these motherfuckers, all right? If protein is one of the essential building blocks of life and one of the 19 amino acids, explain why does the silverback gorilla, okay? And y'all can research this y'all self because I'm doing the research for y'all right here, but I'm not going to research every motherfucking thing. We got to get through the class. It's a long one, all right? But on the, we just on the topic of protein, all right? Why the fuck is the gorilla able to live up to 115 years in the wild and does not eat any form of protein? And we know goddamn well that, that, the, that the gorilla is not more advanced than the god. We know that the gorilla came along in the creation phase when motherfucking the monkey was created first, when Zeus was creating human beings. All right. The monkey was created first in human evolution, people. All right. Then it went from the monkey up to the orangutan, up to the gorilla, up to the Neanderthal, up to the Homo sapien, up to Homo erectus, the guy, up to the guy we see today. All right. So we on the third phase of, 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 of Zeus's creation. We talking about gorillas. Why the fuck is the silverback gorilla able to live 115 motherfucking years without no protein in his body at all? If we need protein to survive, period. And when they say all forms of life, this goes for the animals, too. All right. So that's a, that's something I need you to ponder on. Let, hold on, let, let, let's run it back. I'm not making shit up. This is what they say, all right? The scientists say that protein is one of the 19 amino acids and it's one of the uh, the the building blocks of life, all right? This is what they say. But this motherfucking silverback gorilla don't intake no protein, none in his life. And he look, he's stronger than you and me and everything combined. If when we not tapped into ourselves, now they don't try to tell you these human beings will try to tell you quick. Well, it's protein in the plants. No, it is not protein in the plants, all right? Protein is human-made. Protein is a fucking chemical, and I'm going to keep proving that tonight, all right? Protein is part of this food, which is part of this food spell. So this is why I put, I showed y'all the gorilla first. I showed y'all the silverback gorilla first in the wild that lives up to 100-something years and does not intake any form of protein. Hold on, but let's keep going, though. Let's keep going, though, people. Let's keep going, though. Now, what is fat? What is fats? Because we, we just, we, we, we looked at what food was, Food, they told us foods was proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, right? So we looked at protein. All right, we already didn't caught them lying already. We already caught these bitches lying already, and we ain't even halfway. We ain't know when they're halfway through the slides yet, all right? Keep in mind, protein is one of the 19 amino acids. They say you need this in your body to survive, people, but it's motherfucking gorillas that don't take in no protein. Miss me with that protein through the plants bullshit. This silverback gorilla lives 115 years and does not intake motherfucking protein. Let's keep it going. All right, now we right here. What is fat? Because fat, the fats are part of food. Let them tell it, right? Okay, so what are fats? Let's look it up. Stay focused, people. Because, see, we're going to make this one simple. We're going to make this one right. Hey, we're going to hit them right in the mouth tonight. We're going to hit them right in the motherfucking mouth. All right, because I could easily just jump on here and say, hey, you shouldn't eat pork and you shouldn't eat that. And this is a, yeah, everybody know the basis of that, but nobody knows the science behind why the fuck you shouldn't do. It. Hold on. Let me repeat before I keep going. We all know we're not supposed to have pork or you're supposed to eat healthy. This and this and that. Blah, 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 blah. But nobody has ever broken down the metaphysical reason to us of why and how this impacts us eternally, metaphysically, how this fucks up your chakras and everything around you and your neurochemistry and everything around you. OK, but yeah, let's keep getting, we're going to keep getting deep. Let's stay focused. So we on fats, people. All right. Now, they say in nutrition, biology and chemistry, fat usually means any ester of fatty acids or a mixture of such compounds, most commonly those that occur in living beings or food. So that was straight to the point. But let me show you all something, too. How they like to invert. Notice. Hold on. I'll bring that back. I'll bring that back. I'll bring that back. I don't want to break too. I don't want to lose y'all. So I don't want to, you know, we're going to try to break it down as, as, as basic as I can to make it make sense. You hear me? All right. So now let's go right. Let's read the definition again. We're going to stay right here. In nutrition, biology, and chemistry, fat usually means any ester of fatty acids or a mixture of such compounds, most commonly those that occur in living beings or in food. All right? Key word, people. The key word here, people, is food. Okay? Food. Food. All right? Because we never found out the etymology of food. So let's click on it and find out. All right? Because, see, see, we really don't know what food is. Remember, I said what is food, and I purposely held on to this for a reason. Let's click on this. I purposely, I, I could have went to etymology of food, right? But I, want, I wanted to wait till we got to fats. Okay? Stay, stay right in here, people. Don't go nowhere. Because, see, you got to realize this technology runs very motherfucking deep. It runs deep, people. All right? It runs very deep. Hold on. Let's go. We're going to, hold on. Let's go. Let me, so, let's go to the etymology of food. Where is that? Hold on. Let's go to the etymology of food. 
so y'all can see what's the root word in foo, which is foo, all right, and what it means. Don't trip. We'll pull an etymology of food. All right, so we seen what, what fat was, but fats mentioned what, people? It mentioned what? It mentioned something about foods. Stay in here. Stay tuned. Because, see, this is a class. We got to take your time. If it don't make sense to you, that's why it's class. Be patient. It's going to make sense. It'll all make sense in a minute if it don't yet. What is the etymology of food? Oh, okay. So, when we looked at the etymology of, 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 of food, it brought us here to, to, to relate it to father. So, let's click on that. Let's click on that and see what, they gotta, what, that, was, what that meant. So, we clicked on the etymology. We looked up the etymology of food. All right? And we seen the word that popped up. Hold on. Wait on the computer. You know, any agent that can, that can pop up, they will. You know what I'm saying? We ain't tripping, though. We, we patient over here. We get to the bottom of shit. We, ain't, we, don't, rush, we don't rush the process. Because, see, that, that's how you miss the whole boat, trying to rush, rush the motherfucking process. We don't rush processes. All right? We take our time and get to the bottom of it. Oh, here we go. So, the etymology of food comes from the word father. All right? Or fader. However you want to pronounce it. But this is what it means. Food, especially dried hay or feed for cattle and other livestock. Okay? I repeat. Food, the etymology of food, breaks down to F-O-D-D-E-R. That's where it comes from. All right? And fodder means food, which is dried hay or feed for cattle and other livestock. All right? Keep that in mind. So, they feed food to cattle and livestock. All right? So, if you're supposed to be, for those who, who think, y'all, hold on. For those of us who, who do think we're human beings, even though you're not. If you're supposed to be a human being, to ask yourself this. Why is under, when you look at the etymology of food, right? You look at the etymology of food, it leads you to F-O-D-D-E-R. And then when you break that down, they tell you that that means that's dried hay or feed, or there's dry hay or feed for cattle and other livestock. They said cattle and other livestock specifically. Don't, don't jump across that. All right? We on, we on the etymology of the, of the word food, F-O-O-D, which comes from the word father, F-O-D-D-E-R, which is dried hay or feed for cattle and other livestock. OK, because you as blacks and Latinos, all right, are looked at as cattle and livestock. This food does not impact or affect human beings because the human beings are who? Your Caucasians, your Asians, your Mexicans, your Dravidians and your Arabs. And they are all spliced with animal DNA. All right. We are not spliced with animal DNA at all. So we aren't supposed to eat dead flesh, period. OK, the eating of dead flesh. The reptilians can do that. They do that. And the human beings can do that. OK. But far as the gods, the black and Latinos, we are electrical beings, all right? I'm going to say that again. We are electrical beings. This is science. This is science. This is your biochemical makeup. We are electrical beings. So we are not supposed to eat meat, okay? But these reptilian shapeshifters who are all your world leaders, they look at us as cattle and livestock. So they give us food, all right? Now, we're already in the middle of breaking food down. So stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, yeah, we getting deep. We getting deep. We getting deep. We ain't going to fuck around. So now you know what food really is. It's for cattle and livestock, okay? But let's keep going, though. We're going to keep tying. We're going to keep tying these dots. All right. We already did what is fat. Let's go. OK. What are fats? What are fats? Just so we can get a grip on some of these things. All right. What are fats? You know, because everybody in here live their life, but everybody in here might not be an iron chef to know the science behind this. So what are fats? We breaking down the science, people. This ain't got nothing to do with no emotion. All right. What are fats? All right, we want to list some of the different list some of the different fats for us. Okay, what exactly are fats? Let's see what Wikipedia has to say. The body uses fat as a fuel source. Okay, and fat is the major storage form of energy in the body. Fat also has many other important functions in the body and a moderate amount, if needed, in the diet for good health. Fats in food come in several forms, including saturated, monounsaturated, and polyunsaturated. All right, now which foods are fats? All right, let's run some down the list real quick. Fatty cuts of meat, meat products including sausage and pies, butter, G and lard, cheese, especially hard cheese like cheddar, cream, sour cream and ice cream, some savory snacks like cheese crackers and some popcorns, chocolate confectionery, biscuits, cakes and pastries. OK, so this is an example of some foods high in that saturated fats, but we still stand on the topic of fats. OK, stay focused, stay focused, people. It's all going to make sense. All right, let's keep going. All right. So what is a carbohydrate? All right. So basically. We own what is foods. Foods are fats, proteins, and what? Carbohydrates, people. So when, they, when we looked up what are fats, they basically told us that, that the body needs fat because fat is, the major, form of form, is the, the major storage form of energy in the body. Okay? So everything that we're looking at, fat, we, look at, we looked up what is food. We know what food is. It's giving the cattle and livestock. All right? We know that much. But when we ask 
food on Wikipedia, they told us that it breaks down basically the carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, okay? So, we already figured out what protein, what a protein is. We've already decoded that lie that they're lying about the fact that you need to have protein in your body. And we're going to keep breaking that down, but we already went through protein. All right, now, but they're telling you, pay attention, that you need, you need, keyword, need this protein in your body. You need this food in your body. When we're looking at fat, they say the body uses fat as a fuel source. And fat is the major storage form of energy. So once again, what are they telling you? They are persuading your black ass into believing that you need fat in your body. You need fats in your body. You need proteins in your body. You need carbo. Now we're on carbohydrates. Let's see what carbohydrates is, right? Because you don't need none of this shit in your body. You don't need fats. You don't need proteins. You don't need carbohydrates. All that is bad for your body, okay? So the question is, hold on. We on what are carbo carbohydrates? All right, they, they tell us that carbohydrates is where we get all our energy from. Basically, right? In so many words. So let's see what are carbohydrates. Flip the camera around. Let's go. You bet. What are carbohydrates? Let's go. We're going to click the dots, people. We're going to click dots, man. We're going to click dots. This is biology class right now. All right. Let's go to Wiki. What Wiki got to say? All right. Wiki says a carbohydrate is a biomolecule, a biomolecule consisting of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. All right. Remember, I told y'all, what are our bodies made of, people? Carbon. All right. And carbon is what? The basis from which all life forms. All right, the carbon is the dark matter energy in us, right? The God DNA in us, right? And when we look up carbohydrates, they're telling you carbohydrates is a biomolecule consisting of carbon, 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 hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. All right? Now check peep game. Let's, let's, let's look at something real quick. Hold on. I want y'all, let's look at something real quick, right? All right? Let's look at something real quick. When you look up what are carbo, what food, what are carbohydrates? All right? Hold on. We look at what, what foods are carbohydrates. All right? They tell you that carbohydrates are found in a wide array of both healthy and unhealthy foods. So they tell you carbohydrates is in everything. It's in bread, beans, milk, popcorn, potatoes, cookies, spaghetti, soft drinks, corn chips. It's everywhere. All right. They tell you carbohydrates is in everything. All right. All right. That's what they tell you. Now, let's see what they say. What, do, what does a carbohydrate do? We have to break down the science of this, people. We have to because carbohydrates is what we put in our body. We have to break down the science of what we are actually putting in our body. And that's what I'm showing you, the science, all right? Because you're about to find out that, that what you're putting in your body, none of it you need, none of it is good for you, okay? So why do you need carbohydrates? They are telling you that carbohydrates are your body's main source of what? Energy, okay? I repeat, why do you need carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are your body's main source of what? Energy. They're supposed to help fuel your brain, your kidneys, heart muscles, and central nervous system. That's what they're telling you. So when they're telling you this, they have just given you a reason for why you need to be intaking carbohydrates. OK, now they're, they're telling you why you need to intake proteins. They're telling you why you need to intake fats and they're telling you why you need to intake carbohydrates. And all three of these things fall under the definition of food. All right. And you have to eat their forms of food in order to get these nutrients. Right. That's what they're telling us and teaching us that we have to eat their food in order to get this carbohydrate that we need. Because it's the main source of energy or to get these fats that we need to help store energy or to get this protein that we need. Because protein is one of the 19 um, amino major amino acids and it's one of the essential building blocks of life. But that's why I showed out a fucking silverback gorilla to just shatter that before the lecture even take all the way out. All right, because that'll jump right over people's head. They'll tell you that. And without research, you can research basic animals around you and see just how many animals around you exist without taking in no form of protein. Protein doesn't even fucking exist. It's man-made it's man in the lab. It's a chemical. Just like carbohydrates are chemicals. These are chemicals. That's why they do have good carbs and bad carbs. So they say. All right. But carbohydrates consist of what? Sugars. Stay focused, people. Stay focused. No, we on their ass. Stay focused. Stay focused. Because what is a sugar? What is sugar? What is sugar? All right. Let's go. Let's go to Wikipedia, people. Let's go to Wikipedia. What is sugar? All right. Because see, like I said, we think we know these things, but we don't know the science behind these things we intake. So what is sugar? OK. Wiki clearly says that sugar, which is a form of carbohydrates, sugar is the generic name for sweet tasting, soluble carbohydrates. So sugar is a form of a carbohydrate. OK. Many of which are used in food. Table sugar, granulated sugar, or regular sugar refers to sucrose, and it's composed of glucose and fructose. Simple sugars, also called mono something, include glucose, fructose, blah, 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 whatever. Miss me with all the big words bullshit because we can break all that down. Let's stay focused on sugar. It's the generic name for sweet-tasting, soluble carbohydrates, okay? Because this is how they get us, people. They get us with these words, right? We be, we be seeing these words, and we don't do no research. We don't research no words. No, we don't. No, we don't. We, we don't even know. We be like, oh, we sugar. It's sugar. We put some sugar in my tea. Let me get some extra sugar in my Kool-Aid. But sugar isn't even natural, all right? Sugar is another man-made chemical, all right? You have natural sweeteners like natural honey that bees make, for example, all right? So sugar is another carbohydrate, 
all right? And if I'm trying to tell you that carbohydrates are not natural to the planet, fats, proteins, carbohydrates that we intake, all three substances, all these molecular structures are what they say are food. And then they give us all these motherfucking reasons for why we need to intake this into our system, okay? Stay focused, people. Stay fucking focused. Because I'm going to show y'all what y'all really putting in y'all system, what we. Because I'm included, right? We didn't know what food was. Don't forget, father, where does food come from? F-O-D-D-E-R. That's the etymology of food. And what is that? Dried hay for cattle or livestock. So ask yourself, why are they even naming it food? All right? Stay focused, people. Stay focused. Stay focused. We about to get deep. We about to get deep. What is starch? Because, because sugar is something they say we need, right? It's a carbohydrate. Starch is something they say we need, right? They put starch all in the food. So we need to find out what the stuff where these compounds really are that we put inside our system, people. So let's find out what is starch. Because, see, they don't like us when we intelligent. No, nah, they don't like us when we, they don't like us when we black and intelligent. They don't like when we ask questions. They don't like when we use this for this. They want us to use T. See, see, they want us to use this for bullshit. They want us to use this here technology to sit here and talk shit to each other, gossip, spread negative imagery, share all the negative bullshit. They don't want us to build and engage and enlighten ourselves and enlighten our craniums and find out this war and what they really have been doing to us, you feel me? Which is over with now, but I still have to show you why you don't need to be taking in this into your system. You don't really know unless I show you the science behind it, all right? So stay focused. We on starch. What is starch? What is starch? We gonna tie everything together. Everything gonna make sense. Where my pointer go, man? What is, what is starch, okay? What do they have to say about starch? Starch is what? Starch or amylum is a polymeric carbohydrate. So starch is another what? It's another carbohydrate, people, consisting of numerous glucose units joined by glu glu glucosidic bonds, all right? So what you need to focus on is that starch is another motherfucking carbohydrate, all right? Starch is another carbohydrate. Somebody said anything white not good for you. Definitely not because they bleaching it. But starch is another carbohydrate, people. So if you didn't know, all right, starch is another carbohydrate. And carbohydrates are bad for you. You do not need carbohydrates at all. All right. Why is starch bad for you? Why is it bad for you? All right. Let's see. Let's see if Wiki gonna tell us. All right. Why is starch bad for you? All right. This is why. Diets high in refined starches are linked to a higher risk of diabetes, heart disease, and weight gain. I repeat. <laughs> why is starch bad for you? Starch is in every. Hold on. Do they not put starch and sugar in all our food? I just told y'all that we don't need sugar. The, the, the real. The real sweetener was, was honey, naturally. All right, the ancestors had honey because we and create the bees. Okay, somebody mentioned about the color white. Anytime you see something being white, yes, it's been dyed. Okay, so they put sugar in the food. All right, they're giving us starches. All right, proteins in our body, they tell us that we need carbohydrates. All right, hold on, let, let's, let's stay focused. These are all the things that they say our bodies need, people. All right, diets, refined, diets high in refined starches are linked to a higher risk of diabetes heart disease, and weight gain. In addition, they can cause blood sugar to spike rapidly and then fall sharply. This is especially important for people with diabetes and prediabetes since their bodies can't officially remove sugar from the blood. All right? Keep in mind, keep in mind, they created every disease. Diabetes, all this shit is man-made diseases, but we gonna, and all it comes from the eating of the food. Every disease comes from the food that you put in your body, the mucous membranes that are, that are infected from these parasites in the food that we intake into our temples because we are electrical motherfucking beings. All right? We're electrical beings. So they wasn't lying to us, y'all, when they said this is why we don't need pork and beef and all this stuff, all right? We are electrical beings. I keep telling y'all this. Dr. Sebi died telling y'all that, all right? But when you hear electrical beings, you don't understand the breakdown. So that's why we started with what is fucking food, okay? Even the term food, it comes from the, the, the root word, comes from father, F-O-D-D-E-R, which is what? Dried hay, and it's meant for who? Cattle or who? Livestock. So just the fucking name, food, lets you know exactly what that is. And then when we break it down, it breaks down to what? Proteins and carbohydrates and all these fats. But once you see we dive into these proteins that they say we need in our body, and you don't need protein at all. But they lie and tell you that you need protein to get you to take these poisons into your body that's fucking you up metaphysically. I just showed you the fucking gorilla lives 115 years and that nigga ain't, no, he ain't, no, he ain't eating no peanut butter out there. The nigga ain't frying no eggs. He ain't doing none of that. All right, the gorilla in the motherfucking middle of nature just eating plants and branches all day. And he, ugh, ugh, you see what I'm saying? He's nice and strong, right? Because see what proteins do is they actually weaken us. They weaken you. They don't make you stronger. You don't need proteins. They weaken your ass, all right? Along with, yes, father. Food comes from, look up the etymology of food. I just did it. It comes from what? It breaks down to F-O-D-D-E-R, all right? Father, which is dried hay meant for motherfucking cattle and livestock, Okay? So if you're not livestock and you're supposed to be a human being, this is for my gods who don't believe in gods. If you're still a black and Latino person, you're like, I'm a human being. Okay, well, I'm still talking to you. So for my black and Latino people that think they are human beings, okay, ask your human being, ask yourself, say, hey, self, all right, what the hell is really going on? Why are they telling me that something I need to intake daily is made for livestock if I'm supposed to be a human being? Because livestock and human beings are two different motherfucking things. 
I repeat, livestock is what you give the title for animals. Human beings are human beings. Okay? So, but keep trusting these bitches. Keep trusting these bitches. Keep trusting these bitches. I'm going to make y'all real mad tonight. That's what I like to do. I'm going to either wake you up or make you mad. So we figured out why Star's bad for you. We know why Star's bad for you. Let's keep going, though. Because we got some non-believers in here tonight. All right, now this is going to fuck y'all brain up. What is fiber? Now, fiber is, is a que it's some homework, y'all. This homework for y'all right here, this, this question. Because I don't want to answer everything for y'all. I want y'all to use y'all minds. I'm here to just activate memories, all right? What is fiber? Because this food spell that they have on us, it runs deep. And people don't even understand that we don't even need to eat food. That's the craziest fucking thing. When you find out that we don't even need food. We don't literally need food. Not us. All we need is water and photon energy. And the fruits that grow from the, from the, from the planet, you know, that's just like a little snack. We can eat that. Right. We can take it in, but that's not what we need. What our body demands is water and goddamn it, electrical energy, electrical charges, because we are electricity. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. So let's stay focused, though. Let's stay focused. You know. So what is fiber? What is fiber? Come on. Well, what a definition that what is fiber? What exactly is, 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 is fiber? What is fiber? Give us the definition. All right. Come on, Wiki. What Wiki? Yeah, let's go to Wiki. Because see, fiber is in our food. Right. But. What you got to ask yourself is this. So we on dietary fiber, right? The question is, what is fiber? Now, this going to be y'all homework, right? This going to be my y'all homework, y'all. This going to puzzle y'all motherfucking mind. All right? Might blow the corn off your motherfucking cob. You hear what I'm saying? Now, they say that we need dietary fiber, right? Now, let's look at what Wikipedia say about fiber, people. All right? Dietary fiber is, is the portion of plant-derived food that cannot be completely broken down by human digestive enzymes. We ain't even got to go no further. See, I don't want to lose y'all. That's how they lose y'all. Let's be real. The average person that went to college, we don't know all these big ass words. So we don't, we don't never go look it up. How many times you didn't got a bag of chips and you ate something? It got a million different words on there. All these ingredients, super flex, glue, close, manure, whatever. You don't go look this shit up. You just eat it, right? So you don't really know what you're putting inside of your system. All right? So let me run this definition back because anybody with a brain should really get to asking deep questions within themselves. Check this out. Now, they say we need dietary fiber, right? But why does it say right here that dietary fiber, fiber, or roughage is the portion, keyword roughage, is the portion of plant-derived food that cannot, cannot, it's the key motherfucking word, cannot be completely broken down by human digestive enzymes. So what that means is that fiber, your, the, the, your avatar is not even designed to break down fiber. They just told you that. Fiber, di dietary fiber, fiber or roughage is the portion of plant-derived food that cannot be completely broken down by human digestive enzymes. Okay, so ask yourself this. Riddle me this then. Since, 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 since I see this motherfucker so smart. Riddle me this. Okay, if dietary fibers cannot be completely broken down by the digestive enzymes inside of these physical avatars we call bodies, then why do they put it in your food or your father, F-O-D-D-E-R, It clearly says that it cannot be completely broken down. If something that can't be completely broken down inside your digestive system, goddamn it, that means you ain't supposed to be digesting it. Let me break it down in layman's terms if there's some people sitting here and they're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay? I get it. I get it. I get it. We in this together. Don't, don't feel bad, all right? Basically, you know what I'm saying? The fi dietary fiber, you can't, your system doesn't break it down. So why are they putting this in your food? Why? Why is your food named after something that is for supposed to be for quote unquote cattle or livestock? I'm just asking questions. I'm just a black man with afro asking questions. They don't like that though. I'm just a I'm just a I'm just a nigga in the hood. Let them tell it asking questions, but they don't like that though. And I want y'all. I could answer that for y'all, but I want y'all to answer that. Cause see, when they taught us in school, and that's coming up in my next lecture, that's how they manipulated us, y'all. Cause the ancient way I, I, the ancients taught the way your ancestors taught, they didn't just read a bunch of shit to you and then told you this what it was. They would ask a question and they would let you, or they would tell you to come up with a question about the universe, and then they would tell you to go home and, and, and that would be your homework to meditate on your, on the question that you came up with. And then a week later, whenever you, whenever you come back in class with the guru or whoever is teaching you in that ancient mystery school, you would have to answer the question. There's no right or wrong because the ancestors knew if the soul is is smart enough to, to come up with a question, it's smart enough to come up with the answer for it because the soul knows all truths. Okay, so. What I'm trying to get y'all, I'm not going to answer this for y'all, but just ask y'all self this. This is the homework. We talking about fiber in it because we're going to keep going. All right. But dietary fiber is supposed to be another form of nutri nutrients that we need inside of us that they put inside of our food, our fodder or fooder. All right. And they're telling us that fiber is roughage and it's the portion of plant derived food that cannot be completely broken down. All right. And we know damn well that all the food that you eat is a plant derived because a lot of people aren't vegan. The average person isn't a vegan. You're not eating no plant based shit. 
You know, you eating processed food and meat all day. The average person is. Facts. All right? But let's stay focused. Let's keep going. So that's homework on that. Ask yourself this. If, if fiber can't be completely broken down inside of your digestive system, let me quote them verbatim. Flip the camera back around. This is what they said. Them. Your scientists. Your scientists, all right? I'm just a guy with an afro. Let them tell it. All right? I don't know nothing. Let them tell it. Dietary fiber or roughage is the portion of plant-derived food that cannot, that cannot. I know how to motherfucking read, though, and I know how to motherfucking infer. I didn't do bad, and I, I excelled in reading inference, all right? I know how to read between the lines. Dietary fiber or roughage is the portion of plant-derived food that cannot be completely broken down by human digestive enzymes, all right? Now, we know that we aren't humans. If you gather here today, you've been keeping up. But I'm just saying, we know who they trying to correlate this to. All right. Because all this shit be for us. It's not for them. Everything that they do is to protect their little human being species. All right. Everything they do is to attack ours. Factuals. This shit don't affect no human beings. It only affect the gods and the goddesses because we are electrical motherfucking beings. All right. But let's keep going, though. We not meat suit and we don't have animal DNA. So if we had animal DNA like human beings do, like Caucasians and Asians and Mexicans and Dravidians and Arabs do, then guess what? This shit wouldn't affect us neither. This doesn't affect them. It only affects the electrical beings. So let's keep it going. All right. Does the body need fiber? That's the homework question. Ask yourself, does the body need fiber? If it can't be completely broken down, but y'all telling us we need it, the homework question is to ask yourself, does the body really need fiber? And once you meditate on that, then inbox me your answer. I ain't gonna answer anything for y'all. Let's keep it going, man. All right? Because some things is just common sense. What foods have zero protein? Now we're now we getting good. Now we're getting deep, people, because I just said, right? I just said, like, man, we don't need protein. You don't need protein in your body. I just told you the motherfucking gorilla, King Kong, and them people, bro, and them been living for years without no protein. And they stronger than you, and you invented them. I'm talking about the motherfucking gorilla. All right? So if the gorilla can exist out of nature and was created from one of our brothers, Zeus, Yakub, Satan, Prometheus, all right, when he was on this planet, and the gorilla can live up to 115 human-made years and don't take it, no protein, all right? And, and, but they're telling you that as a human being, black, Latino, because they're calling you a human being, even though you're not, they're telling you that you're a human being and that you need these proteins inside of your body. I'm telling you all this shit is chemicals to hurt, your, hurt you metaphysically, okay? So that's my thesis against them, all right? So now I talked about the gorilla, right? But see, a lot of y'all might be like, nah, we need protein. We need protein. Okay, so since we need protein, now this is my new question, right? Let's find this out, y'all. What foods have zero protein? All right? Let's go. What foods have zero protein? Come on. All right? What foods have zero protein? All right? Let's find out. Because you need proteins and shit, right? Okay. You need, you need proteins. That's what they're telling you. They telling you that you need proteins, right? This is what they tell you. You need proteins in your body. I just showed you and told you, and you can go look for yourself. You got a smartphone. Use it. The gorilla, this nigga, be kicking it for a long ass time and don't put no protein in his body. He's very, very strong. All right? So now for us to really get to the bottom of protein and fats and sugars and shit to find out just how much you don't need it, what better way than to look up what foods don't have really protein in it like that and shit, right? So let's look at it. Okay. So healthy, low-protein foods include fruits. Apples, bananas, pears, peaches, berries, grapefruit, vegetables, tomatoes, even though tomatoes are fruit, but whatever. Vegetables, tomatoes, asparagus, peppers, broccoli, even though broccoli isn't natural to the planet, that's a whole nother live though. Broccoli, leafy greens, and grains, rice, oats, bread, pasta, barley. Healthy fats includes avocados, olive oil, and coconut oil. Whoa. That's a lot of, that's a lot of shit that don't have protein in it really. Did they not just name all the electrical foods that I'm telling you that you need? I just told you that we are electrical beings, right? And that you do not need protein in your motherfucking body. And when we look up all the foods with low protein, they ain't name shit but fruits, vegetables, and grains. They just name. When I look to y'all think I'm the nigga lying with the afro, I'm lying. You need protein. You need food in your body, huh? You need fiber in your body. No, you don't. No, you don't. Pro food and number protein, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, right? Different kind of fats. Monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated, all that, whatever. All right, but we ain't got to get all fancy. That's how they lose you. Let's stay basic. Food breaks down to protein, fats, and carbohydrates. My motherfucking thesis was that we are gods and that you do not need food at all in your body. All you need is photon energy from the sun, which is why they be blocking out the sun with clouds because they know this shit. You don't need no food. You know, that's a fucking lie. All right, so we on protein still, and we're now looking up what foods have zero protein, right? And when we looked up that, they pulling up, they, they apples and bananas and pears and peaches. Isn't that all the, the electrical foods? All right, did, not, did I not just tell you that you are a god and a goddess and, and the only thing you need is you are a plant-based, you eat electricity, all you need is the, the rays from the sun, literally, and water, 
And if you do want to eat fruits and vegetables, that's just like a snack to your to your physical avatar. But your physical avatar doesn't demand it. All right. Your physical avatar demands the sun's energy, though. It needs that because we come from dark matter. We are made of dark matter energy. Dark matter energy created carbon. This is why we are the gods. We created the carbon. And carbon is the base from which all life forms. That's why you breathe out carbon. All right. Let me put y'all on some more game real quick before we keep going. This is why they made these masks, too. Right. Let me, let me give y'all another. See the mask. I just like it to the high my identity when I'm out in traffic. But a lot of times when I go in the store, I'm like this, though. I really don't want to be like this too much. Because let me just tell y'all something. When you go like this, remember I talked y'all about the throat chakra. Remember, you got the root chakra at the base of your tailbone. You got your sacral chakra, that's your penis, your vagina. You got your soul, your solar plexus, that's your third one. You got the love chakra, which is the heart. You got the throat chakra, which is the communication. You got the pineal gland chakra, and then you got the crown chakra, right? So they set these in between your communication chakra, right? But I want to show y'all something. Because they understand that you are an electrical being, right? It says you are carbon because you are consistent of dark matter energy. And we created carbon. Carbon is the base from which all life forms. That's why they lied and said this was melanin to your ass a couple years back. They don't want you to know this is carbon. That you are dark matter energy, right? But because you are carbon, this is a fucking weapon. You know why? Because check this out. When you're doing this all day and you black and Latino, what are you breathing out? Your ass breathing out carbon. And when you breathing it in, what is that doing? Carbon dioxide poisoning. So they know do this shit all day. Asians, and I, once again, I do not support racism university. I only state esoterical, metaphysical, physical, and, and, and biological facts. All right? That's all I state. I don't work off no emotions, all right? Because I know that emotion isn't real, all right? I don't work off emotion, all right? I'm stating facts to y'all. All I'm pointing out the weapons. Focus. We still on what foods have zero protein, but we not jumping past this. We not jumping past this shit. I told you one of my fuckers that double dutches. We ain't double dutching past shit. Feel me? Look, when you put this on, when you put this on, this is carbon, di not carbon dioxide poison that you are giving your motherfucking self. You are poisoning your temple with the wearing of these. Because you breathe out carbon. You breathe, you are carbon. Guess who don't have carbon though in them? Fuck what they lying to you about. Guess who ain't got carbon in them? Human beings. Because they ain't going to tell you. Don't trip. Rashad, Jamal, Gadget. Going to tell you. Facts. Facts. All right? Expect the Rashad Jamal motherfucking gadget is going to tell you what it's, what it's about. No, 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 no. We, 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 we don't go nowhere. We get, hey, hey. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't did nothing yet. No, we ain't did nothing yet. Can see, can see, see. Y'all don't understand who and what you really are and why they fear you. Because we talk about these, these spells, right? We talk about these spells. And it's a lot of cosmic information I want to teach you guys. But I can't just teach it to y'all without first starting at the root of who you are and getting you to understand that. All right, so when I'm telling you you're a guy that's hard to believe because of this matrix construct, all right, they program this shit into our blood as, as babies, all right? So it's hard to grasp, but this food spell is, is, is deep because you don't even, when you find out that you don't even supposed to be eating motherfucking food, that's going to blow the corn off your motherfucking car. I don't even, we don't even supposed to be eating food. They can eat this all day. What is this banana? What is this, y'all? Alkaline, electric, electrical food. Electricity, electrical food, people. Electrical food. Check it out. Check it out. What they say? What what foods have zero protein? Apples, bananas. All right. Fruits and vegetables. So, right there, there, right. Ask yourself once again, why the fuck are they putting protein in the food if you don't need it? And all the good shit with low protein is healthy for you, right? So you don't need protein. I just told you the motherfucking gorilla live 115 years without and ain't the nigga ain't fucking with protein. That's huge, people. Y'all better share the last thought of watch party. Like y'all like like that ain't like that's just something like that's just everyday news or something like oh we, we don't need protein. It's nothing, we know, we knew that. No, you didn't. We know you did motherfuckers every day is in the gym like niggas, niggas, we protein. Y'all in the kitchen cooking, make sure you got the right protein and right fats and the carbohydrates, make we gotta make sure the kids got this and the Yeah, yes you is. This shit motherfucking is. Because I'm doing too. Right? But but to find out that you don't even need food inside of your temple for the operate period is a motherfucker. It's a motherfucker. So now you're like, hold on, well, why do I get hungry then? Why do my stomach growl? Why do my stomach growl? Why does your stomach growl? Because your stomach has a brain in it. Right? You don't just have a brain right here. You have a, your, your, your stomach, which is where your soul flexes is at, actually has a brain in it. And that brain has been programmed as well. All right? We're going to keep going. Hold on. We're going to get deeper though. Let's, let's, let's keep going though. Let's keep going. So we know what foods have zero protein. Basically all the healthy food. Period. The fruits and the vegetables. Let's stay focused. Let's keep going. All right. What food has zero fats? Remember, fats and proteins is what we need, right? So now let's find out what foods have zero fats. Because this is the shit we're supposed to have. And this is what our food is made of. So, 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 okay. Now what foods 
We are we back? Are we back? Is, is that not like the same list? All right. 13 low fat foods that are good for your health. Leafy greens. Leafy greens contain virtually no fat and are loaded with beneficial minerals and vitamins, including calcium, potassium, folate, and vitamin A. Number two, so greens is vegetables. Number two, fruits. All right. Beans and beans, sweet potatoes, excuse me, y'all. Beans, sweet potatoes, tart cherry juice, vegetables, cruc cruciferous vegetables, mushrooms, garlic. Okay, so this is basically fruits and vegetables. Okay, so so the foods that have zero fats are all the fruits and vegetables. Oh shit, they offer two. They offer two like a motherfucker. Because we started off trying to figure out what is food. And food breaks down, they're going to tell you that. You can look it up in your dictionary on your phone. It's going to say food basically consists of any carbohydrates, fats, all right? Carbohydrates, fats, protein. So we just went into protein, all right? We seen like, oh damn, these, these, these foods with, 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 low, with low protein are, is vegetables and fruits and shit. You don't need protein. Now we on zero fat. Now we on fat and all the foods with zero fat and it all comes back down to your fruits and your vegetables. We back at fruits and vegetables again, huh? Somehow we back at fruits and vegetables, y'all. But I'm lying. We back at the electrical foods again when we look up the foods that have low to zero fats in them. Zero fats. So when I'm telling you, once again, food is what, y'all? Fats. The different dietary fats. Carbohydrates and proteins. And we are looking at, when we looked at the foods with low proteins, that was fruits and vegetables. We looked at the fruit, the food that barely has fats in it, fruits and vegetables. Now let's look up carbohydrates. Let's see what's next. What's, let's see what's next. Because they saying we need this food in us. But all the shit, they, they, got, the, they, they, they got the proteins and the fats and carbohydrates. They barely got it. It's all the most healthiest stuff. And, it, and, it's, and it's not food. What food has zero carbohydrates? So let's find out. Because when we talk about food, let's be real, y'all. Hold on. When we talk about food, when we talk about food, let's be real. All right. When we talk about food, nine times out of ten, motherfuckers is eat meat. That is food. Like, when you think of food, you're going to think of like a hamburger. You're going to think of something like that. Let's just be real. You're going to think like that. We're going to work our way to meat. Oh, meat is coming up. But we had to work our way through the scientific definitions of the little words like food and proteins and, 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 and sugars and shit. Because my people, I know my people don't know. We didn't pay attention to no science in high school. We wasn't doing that. We was trying to see who, who we playing. We trying to get up with her. She try, you trying to get up with him. We trying to see who going to kick it up at the park after school. Niggas was not going home on the park in the playground. Like, yo, bro, I ain't going to lie. You know, the motherfucking chemical compounds. We was talking about in the motherfucking sixth period, my nigga. Them shits was, you know what I'm saying? They, they was hitting up some real points, bro. You feel me? Motherfucking chemical compounds. We wasn't doing that shit. We heard that stuff in class. Went over our head. We did not understand it. The teacher, who was part of the money spell, made her motherfucking money or his money. Didn't tell him. Kept going. We got a diploma and still don't understand the biochemical makeup of us or our biological breakdown. You still got people walking around thinking 666 is the devil when that's your biochemical makeup. The anatomy of you, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like that. So I'm just saying, we didn't know this stuff. So let's not act like we knew. Let's not, I, I knew. I, no, you heard. You're familiar with, motherfucker. You don't know shit. Let's say that you're familiar with. It's a difference. You don't know shit. Don't try to get on here and, yeah, he, he need to jump to the good part because I want to, see, that's what's wrong now. Every part is, a, is, is the good part. It's how you build up your being. This is the true enlightenment. You need to know Everything about everything, the breakdown of it for you to understand it. How can you master it? How can you control it? How can you manipulate the energy of it if you don't understand the, the molecular structure of it? The science of it. You know what I'm saying? So these fats and shit and these proteins and all this type of stuff you don't need. You feel me? I ain't gonna fuck around today. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about Kroger. Listen, I don't give a fuck about Kroger getting mad. I don't give a fuck who work at Kroger, who auntie work at Kroger. I don't give a fuck who work at Jewels, Dominex, Pizza Hut, Wendy's. Exit the live. Exit the lab. I'm not here. I'm not here to feed nobody no poison. I don't give a fuck how long you been working that motherfucking Wendy's. Oh my son, we getting busy. We getting busy today. I'm just warming up. I don't give a fuck who mad. Y'all know me. I like when somebody get mad. That don't never turn me up. You know what I'm saying? I like that. All right. So, what foods has zero carbohydrates since we need them? Since somebody want to sit in here and say who the fuck he think he is? He ain't got no motherfucking. He ain't got no degree in this shit. I know somebody watching the live thinking like that because they mad. They don't want to stop eating motherfucking double cheeseburgers and shit. But listen, don't. You ain't got to. You ain't got to. All right. I ain't here for none of that. I'm here to just enlighten you. You ain't got to believe nothing I'm saying. I'm here to present the information. You can eat this shit all day. That's your inner temple. You ain't, hey, 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 you feel me? Let's keep it going though. All right. So what foods have zero carbohydrates? What foods have zero carbohydrates? What, what, what's going on, Wiki? Talk to us. We want to know. Man, we want to know, man. Let's go. Where they at? Let's go. Why they want to play these games with us, y'all? Let's let's do that, man. When they want to play with these, play with play with us like this, man. All right, so foods with low carbohydrates. All right, lean meats such as sirloin, chicken breast, or pork. Yeah, there's low carbohydrates in there, but you don't need meat, so omit that bullshit. Fish, eggs, leafy green vegetables, cauliflower and broccoli, nuts and seeds, oils. Okay, so when we looking up foods with low carbs, 
We 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 they talking about fish. Fish is meat. We shouldn't eat that meat. But it's the healthiest meat you can eat. Is fish. All right. Now they gonna tell you lean meats. So they want to throw steak and chicken. They want to keep you. They want to keep you stuck on the meat somehow, some way. All right. But the thing about carbohydrates that you gotta realize is the main thing is that majority of these foods with the low carbohydrates are these not some of the most healthiest foods that you can eat if you're trying to break away and straighten out your diet? You know what I'm saying? Like because it's hard to just listen. Let's be real. I grew up eating pork chops the whole night. A nigga just can't go for my fucking today. You know, it's cheese, eggs, bacon, and grits. You know what I'm saying? To tomorrow, it's just, you know, wheat slims and, and water. You know, that'll, that'll fuck a person up, you know. But at the same time, some of the most, the transitionary foods when you're trying to break off the meat, because the meat is, is the, what's fucking us up. And I'm, I'm finna ease into that. It's the meat. When you think about food, you really think of meat, all right? But I'm finna break down the science of why. Everybody has heard it, but nobody's getting the true science of why. They're not telling you how it affects you. They're not really telling you how it affects you because they got you thinking you're a human being in a fucking meat suit, but you're not. All right. So low carb foods are lean meats like sirloins and chicken breast. So I don't know how they got pork on it. But anyway, fish, eggs, leafy green vegetables, cauliflower, broccoli. So these are good transitory foods. These are bridge foods to vegan veganism. Right. So still keep that in mind. Like all your foods with low carbs, are all your transitionary foods, even still, if, you, if I pull up on somebody with a plate of fish and some eggs and, and a side of green vegetables, a nigga be like, what the fuck is this? Slap it on my, on my hand. You know what I'm saying? So you, still, now they're telling you that you need carbohydrates in your body, right? Foods are, what is food? What is fodder, people? Carbohydrates, fats, and what? Proteins. So we went through fats and proteins, and now we're on carbs. And now we come to find out that most of the foods with, with no carbs in it is all your healthy shit, your transition food that leads you into veganism. All right? So once again, ask yourself, how the fuck can you need carbohydrates, proteins, or fats in your body to live, to, to, to survive like they're telling you? And what three of those? Those three compose what? Food. Those three compose what? Food. Let's keep, let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, man. Signs and symbols for the conscious mind, man. Let's keep going. Signs and symbols for the conscious mind, man. Y'all got to see this, man. Now, what food has zero sugar in it? All right? Because isn't sugar a carbohydrate? Because we talk about carbs, right? So let's see. What foods have low sugar? Let's see. If it, let's, let's see. I mean, this is shit that we think is basic that we know, right? But we don't because we don't look at the bigger picture that these are the basis for fucking food. These are the basis that they're telling us what you need for food, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, and you do not need that in your body at all to survive. No, you do not. And we're proving this right now. All right? So, here we go. Which foods, which foods with low sugar? All right? Cold water fish, garlic, legumes, legumes, however you pronounce that, nuts, oatmeal, and oat bran, sweet potatoes and yams, fruits, whole wheat bread. All right? Like, this is common sense. Like, 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 so, so, like, everything that they say that you need in your body, when we go to the, look up the foods that doesn't, that, that, that has very little of those chemicals in the food, it's all your healthiest food. It's all of your healthiest food. Are y'all not peeping that? Are y'all not peeping that all of the foods that we go to, all right, that has zero to, to, to very small drops of the chemical compounds like sugar. Because, see, they're not telling you. Protein is a fucking chemical designed to kill your ass. Fats, these all of them, the different, all the different fats. Carbohydrates designed to kill you. You don't need fats to store no goddamn energy. Your, 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 your chakra will store energy regardless. You don't need no fucking fats to do that. This is all technology to get our ass to eat their food or their father because the father is for what? Cattle and fucking livestock which they have turned us into since they landed and invaded us but let's stay focused all right let's stay focused come on i ain't come to fuck around today we ain't come we ain't come and i know it's food and it's touchy and all but hey that's how it go we got to keep it real what food has zero starch we breaking down all the carbohydrates we just broke down sugar let's go to the other one now that we know that starch is a carbohydrate if you didn't know all right, and they're telling you carbohydrates is where you get all your energy from. Let them tell it. Carbohydrates is so needed because this is where we get all our energy from. All right? So, and starch is a, is a, is a form of a carbohydrate. All right? And I'm going to be real. When you locked up, they put so much starch in your food. You know what I'm saying? They put so much starch in your food. You know what I'm saying? So much starch. You know what I'm saying? Which foods do not contain starch? Let's give us a little rundown of them. Okay. Radish. Carrots. Leafy vet. So what was the question? Which foods do not contain starch? Remember, starch is something that they say we need because starch is what? A carbohydrate. And a carbohydrate, along with proteins and fats, they say we need these in our body because these are the things that all food are compromised of, these three basic elements. All right. So which foods do not contain starch? Radish, carrots, leafy veggies, kale, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, pumpkin, cucumber, zucchini, spring onions, celery, asparagus, tomato, pepper, mushroom, broccoli, okra, eggplant, cauliflower. So basically all your vegetables, all your vegetables, all your electrical foods contain no motherfucking starch. So why is they put starch all in your food telling you you need it? Say because they say starch is a carbohydrate and they say that we need carbohydrates because they give us all of our energy. Pay attention to the technology, people. Let's keep going. All right. Let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. What is the etymology of food? 
We already broke that down. We know what it is. Father. F-O-D-D-E-R. All right? We know what it is. All right, what is meat? Let's, let's figure out what meat is. Now we're moving on to meat. A lot of us think we know. We don't know. We don't know. We think we know. What, what is meat really? All right? What is meat really? Okay? Share this last thought of watch party. Subscribe to the university. All right? You'll see, it's a frequency war, people. Everything is by design to keep us out of power or was done to keep us out of power. So what is meat? Meat is the flesh of an animal, especially a mammal as food. Okay? So meat, this meat that we eating, all right? This meat that we eating is what? The flesh, the flesh, all right? Because see, that jumps over people's head. Like, I'm eating meat. No, I want you to really, I want y'all to meditate on this so you can come into your God power. All right, a lot of y'all been hitting me up. Hey, how do I meditate? How do I do this? Do you know that meat blocks meditation? All right? And I wanted to focus on something in me. The definition was what? The flesh of an animal as food. Okay? So the flesh of an animal would not be considered meat. It's only considered meat. If you take the flesh of an animal and then consume it, it is now considered meat. Let me run it back. Let me run it back. See, they, they tricky with their definitions. You got to pay attention. Meat, exactly. Meat is the flesh of an animal that is used as food. Okay? And we know what food is. What is food for? Livestock and cattle. Stay focused. We getting deep. We getting deep. Y'all put your seatbelts on. We finna get deep. We finna get deep. It gets deep. All right. Top three meats used to destroy blacks and Latinos, a.k.a. the gods. Okay? Beef, poultry, and pork. Hey. Shit finna get deep, man. Let me, let me, let me get me a sip of water. You know what I'm saying? We finna get deep to see. We started off asking what was food. Because we talking about the food spell. So, for you to even know what the food spell is, you need to know what food is. What they say food is, not what you think food is. What are these human beings scientifically consistent considering food to be? Fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, people. This ain't, this ain't my opinion. This is what they say food is. Alright? So, let's keep going. Top three meats used to destroy blacks and Latinos, a.k.a. the gods. Beef, Poultry and pork. Let's go. Let's find out. What is beef? All right. I know that beef look, looking probably good to some people right now. You hear me? It's probably looking real good. But that's okay because what's good, good, look good to you. And everything look good to you ain't good for you. Let's go. What is beef? What is beef? What is beef? Let's go, Wikipedia. Got to work our way through everything. What is beef? All right. Up. Oh, here we go. We getting deep. Because we, wait, wait, wait. What was the question? First question was what? What is meat? We know what meat is, right? And then when they end up, put us right here to the top three meats, beef, poultry, and pork. A lot of y'all want to know, hey, I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to meditate more. I'm trying to get in my God DNA. I'm trying to activate my chakras, okay? But you, you can't do it without eating, without the proper diet. It's just like working out. You can go lift a million weights, run a, a thousand miles. Your ass can run from here to Alaska and back every day, all day, and you still won't get to where you're trying to get to if you don't eat the proper foods, right? Okay, so we talk about the top three meats, keyword, used to destroy you. They know what you are, but they got you believing you meat, and they feeding you this shit. See, they can eat it. They can eat it because they, can, they have animal DNA. Human beings have animal DNA. They are cannibals, all right? They were spliced with dogs, pigs, snub-nosed monkey, lemur, and a drop of God DNA. This is why when they go to the motherfucking places and they get their steaks and shit, they get it damn near, they want the blood in their shit. When I order my steaks, I'd be like, well done. They order their steaks medium rare. Fuck medium. Give it to me rare. All the blood you can give it to me. Give it to me rare. Like, that's how they want it. And we don't sit back and think about that and be like, like, why? Why do, why, why do white people like their, their steaks like that? And why do they like, like a lot the blood, right? The, the, the drinking of the blood, all right? We finna, we finna find out why. Let's go. What is beef? That's, the, that's our question. And we right here. What is beef? Beef is the culinary name for meat from cattle, particularly skeletal muscle. Humans have been eating beef since prehistoric time. Beef is a sort of, up. Oh, here we go again with that word, protein. Listen, when you haven't went to school to be a goddamn doctor and you go to the doctor's office and your doctor tell you, hey, you need to get more protein. That sounds goddamn good, don't it? When they like, hey, get the, my doctor told me I need more protein. You know what I'm saying? Then you go, you go to the restaurant. They're like, man, shit, let me get some beef because beef is a good source. It's a, they look at the word. They put good in front of it. So you automatically assume in your mind like protein. We need that shit. Hey, beef is a good source of protein. But we already broke down what protein really is, right? It's a chemical. It's not needed. It's not natural. They're lying when they're saying protein is one of the natural 19 amino acids. This is how they're tricking your motherfucking ass into thinking that beef is good for you because they're telling you it's a good source of protein, but we don't even need protein. The gorilla proves that, and the gorilla ain't got nothing on us, okay? The gorilla ain't got nothing on us, all right? 
that everything that we looked up that had low protein was what? All of your healthiest shit. So we know we do not need protein. That's a fucking lie. All right? Fuck. Just keep it going. So, why they on Wikipedia, when you go to look up beef, they talking about beef is the culinary name for meat from cattle. Particularly the skeletal muscle. Humans have been eating, keyword, humans. That which you are not. Humans have been eating beef since prehistoric times. Not the gods, not blacks and Latinos. Humans have been eating beef since prehistoric times when they was in the fucking caves. All right? And beef is what? Beef is not good for you. Beef is nothing but a good source of what? Protein. Uh, beef is a good source of protein, which we know protein is not good for us. You don't even need protein. You're not supposed to take in protein at all. All right? But hold on. Let's keep going, though. Let's keep going, though. Hold on. All right? Let's keep going, though. So they're telling you when you're looking up beef, that beef is a good source of what? Protein. All right? And if you don't, and if you don't understand what protein really is, you read and they like, oh, that's good. I need to give me some beef shit. It's cool. It's cool. It's a good source of protein. My doctor said I need to get, add more protein to my diet. All right? My doctor said I need to add more fats, dietary fats to my diet. My doctor said I need to put more carbohydrates in my diet. All right? It's all fucking lies. They are lying to you. All right? What does it say right here? The Wagyu cattle are an example of... Of a breed raised primarily for beef. It is high quality and sought after. Okay, so most of your beef is coming from the uh, from this cattle right here. Most of the beef that we eat is coming from this cattle right here, people. Let me show them to you. All right, because I want y'all to notice something about the cattle. There you go, right there. All right, but there are four breeds of him. This cattle right here, where all the beef is coming from, the high sought out cattle that they are using to get their beef from. Who bred, who bred him? Who bred him? There are four breeds of him, right? Japanese black, Japanese pole, Japanese brown, and Japanese shorten. Do I, do, I need, do I need to play connect motherfucking focus? I will play it tonight for you. All right? Now, they are telling you that this, hold on, what is beef? That was the question. And we went to that question, people, asking about beef. They told us beef. It's just a culinary name for meat that comes from cattle. Keep cattle in y'all mind because we're going to break that word down too. Oh yeah, it get deep. Trick motherfucking knowledge, all right? Beef is the culinary name for meat that comes from cattle, all right? Particularly the skeletal muscle. And humans, humans have been eating beef since prehistoric times. But not me and you, humans, all right? Humans, when they say prehistoric, you think about like dinosaur age and that existed. No, when they say prehistoric, their history, which is history, did not start till 1492 after the Great Invasion. Well, actually 1776, which is once they set up their empire on Atlantis. So that's when they started documenting their history. All right. So when they say prehistoric or prehistory, they talk about when they was on their home planet, Nern. They're not talking about prehistoric and got to see prehistoric time. You think about dinosaurs and uh, uh, T-Rexes and shit that never ran the earth. All the dinosaur bones was us they dug up. That the, that the, that the archaeologists and the anthropologists, us. Us, they stay digging up. All right? So, this beef, all right, the most sought after cattle is the Wagyu cattle. All right? And this is the most, they say, um, this cattle is primarily raised just for beef. Now, pay attention. All right? And it is high quality and sought after. Now, when we went to look up this cattle, we went to look them up. We went to look them up, right? We're like, okay, well, I never heard of this cat. I never heard of this nigga before. So let's look him up. If this the nigga we eating, if this where all the double cheeseburgers come from, we need to be looking him up then, right? There he go right there. Hold on. If this where all the double cheeseburgers and shit coming from, that's who we need to be looking up, right? All right? And when we did, because see, we might think, we might think, hold on. See, see, we might think all cattle are being used, used for beef. See, that's what I thought too at, at a point in time. But see, when you understand and the pineal gland activate and opens, you get to see the lies and the bullshit. All right? Because listen, bro. Look at this shit. This is him right here. This is the Wagyu cattle, right? This is where, this is the one that they are using. He is only bred for fucking beef. So that means he is bred to get his ass ate, all right? He come out the pussy knowing he finna go in somebody's stomach, all right? So at the end of the day, now when we look at who's breeding this cattle, this cattle was only bred in Japan. And it's four breeds of him. Japanese black, Japanese pole, Japanese brown, and Japanese short. All right? So we know this goddamn cattle was bred only in Japan. And where is Japan, people? Asia. And what are the Asians? They are another form of who? Human beings, people. That ain't about, that ain't about, that's not an accident that the main bull that is being sought after that they use to make their double cheeseburgers, all your motherfucking Angus beef, beef, your Wendy's and all your stuff you like pulling up. You know what I'm saying? You know how you pull Hey, yo. 
Hey man, uh, let me get that uh that number two, extra mayo. Yeah, that is coming from the Wagyu bull. Or however you pronounce, I don't even want to pronounce the nigga name. The W bull. That's all I need to know. The W bull. And his ass is bred in Japan. In Japan, it's in Asia. Because this meat feeding wasn't planned from the human beings pushed on us. And as we keep going through all this fucking meat, all the meats, because we don't even beef right now. You're going to notice that somehow all this shit is going to tie back to some type of human being. Let's keep going, though. Let's keep going. So we know that he's being bred by human beings strictly for our motherfucking ass. Because we know that meat, meat don't impact them. We are electrical beings. We are electrical beings. Isn't your phone electrical? It is, right? Electrical. Would you take a piece of meat to try to plug it up and charge it when it died? No, you would not. You wouldn't take a goddamn drumstick out the freezer and attach it to the bottom of the phone when your phone dying, would you? You wouldn't, yo, you ain't gonna be on the phone like, yeah, Joe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah, we ran to the stone. Rick, Rick, yo, Rick. Damn, why she dead? Fuck the, um, hey, hand me a drumstick. Look, hand me a motherfucking drumstick. Plug this shit up to the wall, you know what I'm saying? Give, my, give me some charge. And then your shit ain't charging, you wondering why. Because you don't have an electrical surge. This is electricity. You have to put an electrical input into it to connect it to another electrical output to get a surge. So our avatars work the same way. We are electrical beings. So when you put in meat, which is dead flesh inside of electricity, you are short-circuiting the electric, the electrical charges in the, in, the, in, the, in the body. You're not even able to use no apps. You know how when you get a phone and you got all them apps and shit you can download that you can use and play with? Nigga, if you eating meat, you can't use no apps. You can't get on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, none of that shit. You just got a no apps. And you can't call nobody. You just got the phone though. If you don't take your goofy ass to the store and buy an actual charger and put it in the phone and plug it in the wall so your phone can work, that's us. We walk around, phones ain't working and shit. We steady trying to call people and shit looking goofy. Yo. Yo. Man, my shit ain't even Your shit ringing? My shit ain't ringing. I ain't even. I ain't even getting no. Hey, let me use your. I ain't getting no. I can't use your phone? Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Because we sitting here putting the wrong things inside of our physical. It's a metaphysical thing. It's a frequency war. You are literally electricity. This is why you're not supposed to put the meat inside of you. You can't put it inside of you if you fucking wanted to because you are not an animal. You created that and we created the animals. We didn't create them to eat. We created the animals but not to eat. Not to eat. Not to eat. Our ancestors was not eating no fucking animals. You think they was fishing and hunting and shit? No, they was not. But them, cauc them Caucasians in that cave, they was eating animals. Save with two tigers and shit. Eating each other. They the original cannibals. I'm speaking facts, but they are cannibals because they have animal DNA, all right? And you don't have animal DNA. You are a god. You are made from dark matter energy, carbon, pure electricity. Facts. So you try to meditate and shit, you ain't, ain't nothing happening. Because you, you got your whole... Listen, you got your, your whole metaphysical makeup. You ain't nothing but electricity. Is that not, is that not sinking in? We are electricity. Is that not sinking in? So if they really think in your head that we electricity, we really could just end the lecture. We should, we should better go into history and other, because I'm ready to get to the history spell and all that shit. For real, I'm going to be real with y'all. Like, 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 some things we're going to have to really grasp on a common sense level. If you are electric, God damn it, at your base form, what, what are you? You're 666, right? You are six neurons, neutrons, I mean six neutrons, you are six electrons, and you are six motherfucking protons. That is all electricity. That's what your physical breaks, the anatomy of you, your biochemical makeup breaks down to. This ain't some shit I'm making up. This ain't my opinion. This ain't no shit that, that I'm thinking about. No, I'm telling you the anatomy of you, motherfucker. So at the end of the day, you should understand why they pushing meat on your ass. Just like if you got a phone and I come and throw motherfucking water on it. What's going to fucking happen? It's not going to work anymore, right? So the meat is the water to your motherfucking phone. Here you go. And they splashing your ass down. It, they splashing your ass down. Your grandma didn't eat. They had to force our, our ancestors to eat that shit. You got killed if you didn't eat that shit. You got killed if you didn't eat that shit. You got two stomach. You got two brains. There's a brain in your stomach too. But this one first. Remember the neurochemistry. The neurochemistry of our brains through the pineal gland. All right. As a baby, what did you see? You saw your parents doing what? Eating. All right. So you believed that that was what you were supposed to do. So you begin to eat. Fact. Your parents saw what? Their parents eating. So they took the images through the retinas of their eyes and they believed that's what they were supposed to do, right? This is why what they did in the physical part of the transatlantic slave trade impacted us a couple hundred years down the road too. Because see, I'm going to be breaking the transatlantic slave trade down. And it did not last no three, four hundred years like you think. we actually still in a transatlantic slave trade. But I mean, the physical part only lasts like a hundred and some years. History is not as long as they are telling us in the history books. 
These motherfuckers ain't. They only 6,000 years old and they only been here 500 years. And we don't even have years. We have energy cycles. They came and landed and brought years. I told y'all, talked about that in, in a time spell with y'all already. All right? They came, landed, went back in time and time machines, wrote themselves a tire history. Like, oh yeah, this shit get deep. That we, that we touch on these spells ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. This shit get way deeper than this. It's just that I don't want to lose y'all, so I got to go through the, the basics to make shit make sense. Well, let's keep rotating, though. Let's keep, let's keep working through this. All right? So we on what is beef. We did what is beef. Boom. Let's keep going. What is cattle? All right? All right? What is cattle? Because cattle is a word they use when we looked up what is beef. Okay? So, now, let's look up, because cause cattle, cattle came up. When we looked up what is beef, when we looked up what is beef, Look what they said. Beef is the culinary name for meat from cattle. So let's find out what cattle is. What is cattle? See, this is how you research people. You got to go research every fucking word. With that, that When you look up something and they use a word, you look up that word that they used in the definition. They go look up that word that they used in the definition. That's how you find out the truth. All right? We on this food spell. Let's stay focused. So they mentioned cattle when we was trying to find out what is beef. Let's see what they got to say about cattle. Cattle are large, ruminant animals with horns and clubbing hooves domesticated for meat or milk or as beasts of burden, cows. Let's click on livestock. All right, let's click on livestock. Let's click on livestock. Farm animal, livestock are farm animals regarded as an asset. Remember, when we, when we looked up the etymology of food, it broke down to what, people? F-O-D-D-E-R, which meant what? Livestock. What's the dictionary word for livestock? Farm animals regarded as an asset. So this is what they view you as, a motherfucking farm animal. But hold on, let's stay focused. We still on cattle. All right, so hold on, let me scroll down. Let me scroll on down. All right. Because they're using these words, and we think we know, but we really don't know. All right? Let's click. Stay focused, people. And stay focused. We, we need to find out what cattle is and why they call it that. You know what I'm saying? Why they call it that. Okay, here we go. So we on cattle right now. You see? There go cattle. Cattle, this is why they, see, they don't use none of these words. Listen, when they're using these words, they're not using these words by accident. They're using these words on motherfucking purpose. So stay focused. All right? Cattle... Are, are commonly raised as livestock for meat and for hides, which are used to make leather. All right, stay focused. Another, another product of cattle is dung, which can be used to create manure or fuel. All right? Around 10.5 thousand years ago, they let it write themselves in there that he wasn't listening. The motherfuckers was not here 10.5 thousand years, 10.5 years ago, they was not here. 10.5k years ago, they wasn't here. They wasn't. They be lying their ass off. They was not here 10,000 years ago. Human beings, which are your Caucasians, your Dravidians, these motherfuckers just got here, you know what I'm saying, 500 years ago. Facts. Facts. They ain't been here no 10,000 years. Let's stay focused, though. All right, so they like the lotto. Around 10,000 years ago, to make it seem like they know some shit, they don't know shit. Around 10,000 years ago, cattle were domesticated from as few as 80 progenitors in Central and... Now, this is what I want to try to focus on, where cattle were domesticated at. Let's get to the bottom of this bullshit. Now, we seen when we looked up the beef, right? That's the W bull, right? And where is he bred at? In Asia, right? Now, let's see where this cattle... This cattle, these cattles are being bred at. Let's see if we can make some, if we can draw some dots. Let's see if we can draw some motherfucking dots today. All right? Because we already seen, we already seen where, um, you know, we already seen where, um, here we go right here. We already seen where the W bull is being bred at that they are using for the most, the, you know, for the, all of their beef. All right? But here we go right here. The central Anatolia region is a, geo a geographical region of Turkey. The largest city in the region is Anakara. Okay? So we know Turkey is who? Who would turkey be? Human beings, people. Human beings, people. All right? So one of the locations where the cattle was first domesticated at was by human beings, people. Now, let's see the second location. Levant. Let's see where that's located at. Since I'm no nigga lying. Levant. The Levant is an approximate historical ge geographical term referring to a large area in the eastern Mediterranean region of western where? Asia. We back in Asia again. All right? So the Levant, which was where the domesticated cow came from, one of the three places, the Levant is an approximate historical geographical term referring to a large area in the eastern Mediterranean region of Western Asia. Okay, so not only is the motherfucking, the, the W bull, where all the beef that we eat come from, bred in Asia, but we found out that the cattle, all right, the cattle, all right, that they like to use when you look at the definition of, of, of meat and beef, this word, this word cattle, all right, this first comes from where? Where does it come from, people? Central Anatolia, which is in where? Asia. We looked up the Levant. Where is that? Western Asia. And where is this? Do we better click on it? We ain't got to click on it. I hope we don't. Because that clearly says Western Iran. And where is West and where is Western Iran, people? Where is Western Iran? Share this live, share this live, start watch parties. Even if you already shared it, share it again. Share it again. We finna get deep. Alright? Where is where is Western Iran, people? 
in where? The quote unquote Middle East, which means people who are Iranians are considered what? Middle Easterns who are considered what? Arabs. Arabs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See? You know you fucked up, right? They ain't fucked up. See what I'm saying? Because I ain't come to fuck around, baby. They done fucked up. All right? Now, we did not already just, we didn't, we didn't look up the W, boy, while the beef coming from, while our double cheeseburgers coming from, right? Big Macs, the whole now. We know now. We know, like, okay, boom. That's coming from the, the, the W, bull, which is spelled W-A-G-Y-U, wag, Wagyu. I'm not Asian, so I don't know how to enunciate that correctly. Please forgive me. But let's just say the motherfucking W, boy. I'm from the hood. I'm from the streets, all right? Now, we all gods and goddesses in here, but we gonna keep it all the way thoroughly real. You feel me? All right? So we know that all the beef is coming from the W, bull. All right? So if all the beef coming from the W bull, and then we looking up meat, and that leaves us the cattle, and then we go look up cattle, it's saying that around 10,500 years ago, cattle, all right, were domesticated from as few as 80 progenitors in central Anatolia, the Levant, and western Iran. Central Anatolia and the Levant are both in Asia, people. And then western Iran is Arabs. Did I not say that the human beings are your Caucasians, your Asians, your Dravidians, your Arabs, and your Mexicans? Is it, do you think it's a coincidence that the cattle and the beef, which is not good for us, is, has been domesticated in areas where these human beings have, like, what's the word I want to use, all right? Have congregated in, in, in bigger numbers. Let's say that. Where they have congregated in bigger numbers. There's certain numbers on the planet that we know about, like Europe, where they have congregated in larger numbers, or Asia, right? We know there's certain places, right? All right? So, do you think that's a coincidence? That's a coincidence. Because we're talking about these human beings and these reptilian shapeshifters, all right? Do you, that, do you think that's a coincidence? No, it's not a coincidence. It's not a coinky dink. It's not a coinky dink, all right? It's not. All right? And then they tell you right here, in 2009, cattle became one of the first livestock animals to have a fully mapped out genome. Let me repeat. In 2009, all right, cattle became one of the first livestock animals to have a fully mapped out genome. Fully mapped out genome. Know what that mean? That means cattle, first off, your genome is your DNA, all right? You have so many thousands of strands of DNA. And they're saying that the cattle was the first livestock animal to have its genomes fully mapped out, meaning written, meaning wrote, meaning constructed, meaning that they have officially started cloning the motherfucking cattle. You see, I didn't want to tell you that they cloned the cattle now. So not only is the meat we eat not good for us, but we eating cloned motherfucking meat. And they told you. You see how slick they is, though? They didn't tell you, but they told you. They could have said, we finally have cloned the cow. No, they didn't. They say in 2009, cattle became one of the first livestock animals to have a fully mapped out genome. You see how the technology people, they don't want to tell you that, that, that when you even do go to the restaurants now, you're eating cloned motherfucking meat as of 2009. All right. So if you've been eating at restaurants that go for myself, I've done it before, too. All right. Since 2009. So we're talking 11 years for the last 11 years. All the meat that we are eating that we are thinking is beef is actually coming from cattle with fully mapped out genomes. So you're eating cloned meat. Ain't supposed to eat the meat anyway. That's already bad enough. But now they're giving us cloned meat. Cloned meat. Right? So electrical beings are walking around eating cloned dead flesh. Right? And we wondering why we where we at today. Don't trip. We're gonna keep getting it. Because if you don't if you don't understand how the meat impacts your psych your psychology and the way you think and the way you act, it affects everything about you. We're gonna get deep. I don't wanna I don't wanna ruin a lecture by giving away gems too early. But let's keep going though. Y'all keep sharing. Let's go. Stay focused. Popular foods made from beef. There you go. Look good, don't it? That's how we was raised. We was programmed to love that. We don't see that as literally the goddamn thigh of a cow that was walking the planet or some cattle or a bull. We don't see that. We don't see that. We don't see that. We don't peep that what we put on our plate, this animal suffered. It suffered, whether it was a cloned animal or whether it was a, a actual natural animal. It still suffered. And we don't see that because we have been programmed not to see it. All we motherfucking see is lettuce, which is what color, people? Green. And then we see this pretty ass red tomato and this yellow cheese and this bun with this perfect ass glow on it. You see the electromagnetic field that they put on the images? Look how the motherfucking burger glowing. I damn near ready to pull up now. It makes you want to go pull up now, don't it? Don't it, though. Be real. It makes you want to pull up now. Right? Yeah, it do. But ain't none of this. All this is processed. The cheese, fake. The tomato, fake. The lettuce, fake. And they dyed these, these colors because of what, people? Chakras. We've been learning about chakras. So to, the, to distract you from the dead animal, from the dead flesh, whose spirit still lives in the blood. The spirit of that animal still lives in the blood when you eat that. All right? So to distract us from that dead animal, they, they put all this shit on there to try to trick you. And then they, they, they got this fancy name, right? It's, you know, because instead of, instead of looking at it like, Joe, that's a whole motherfucking... That's a motherfucker. 
a cow forehead on my bun right now. You know what I'm saying? That's a cow knee. You know what I'm saying? We don't look like that because they didn't put all these condiments, all these distractors to your neurons on the fucking meat. The lettuce is green. They got the green lettuce, the artificial lettuce, right? What is green? Actually coming up on how the real was used to look. You feel me? All right. But the original tomato was not red. A lot of these fruits that we see was way bigger than they are now today. All right. So we don't see, we don't see, we don't see that. We just see the overall imagery. We're not thinking about how it affects us metaphysically because we weren't taught that in school. We weren't taught that in school. Let's keep going. Now, what is poultry? So we worked our way through beef real quick. Right now we on the poultry because what are the top three meats? Beef, poultry, and pork. So now we on poultry, right? What is poultry? Let's find out. Let's ask Google. For us that don't know, because this is what they feed us, y'all. And it's by design. Part of the food spell. It's by design. They feed dead flesh to the electrical beings because they fear us. What is poultry? They run over with, though, y'all. It's over with for them. It's over with. It's over with. They know it. They know it. Everything is coming out. What is poultry? Domestic fowl such as chicken, turkeys, ducks, and geese. The flesh of chickens and other domestic fowl is food, okay? So anytime they use the flesh of chickens or domestic fowls as food, that would be considered poultry, people. I'm still froze. I'm still froze. Somebody let me know. Somebody let me know. Drop the scuba diving emoji. I ain't gonna keep going to somebody let me know. We still froze. We still froze. I'm good. We good now. We good now. All right. All right. You might say we good. You might say we good. Tell everybody say we good. All right. Drew King say we good. All right. Let's go. So what is poultry? We on beef. So basically poultry is the flesh of any chicken or other domestic fowl that is used for food. All right. So we know that now. We know what poultry is, people. We know what poultry. All right. Let's say it again. Turkeys, quails and chickens. All right, somebody saying they froze again. Somebody saying we froze up again. We still froze. We gonna we gonna say it till we unfreeze. We gonna say it till we unfreeze. Yeah, they do that sometimes. See, they do that to try to push y'all about the lives and to run people away and shit. We back good. That's what they do it for. But I, I, we just we gonna fight through it, y'all. We ain't tripping. That's why we gotta really get on YouTube. Y'all need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The whole nine. All right, let's keep going. So let's pay attention to the birds that they feed us in poultry. They go to tur. They use the turkey. They go to turkey. They go to quail. And that go to chicken. All right. So these are the main three birds they use in poultry that they feed us. All right. Now, I want y'all to pay attention to something about these three birds that y'all probably never noticed. Have y'all ever noticed turkeys don't fly like that? They barely fly. Y'all know that, right? Turkeys don't really fly like that. Okay. Chickens. They're capable of flying too. They don't fly like that. They run on the ground. And quails. They are capable of flying too. But they don't. They also run on the ground. OK, so basically what we have here is the main three birds that they feed you for poultry. None of these motherfuckers fly. Let me repeat. The main three birds that they are feeding you for poultry, the turkey, the chicken, the quail. None of these motherfuckers fly. Hold on. We're going to stay right here for a second, just in case they freeze. Don't worry about it, y'all. Don't worry about that shit. We ain't, gonna, we ain't going nowhere. We know how the accident started back over there. Like, we don't do this. Like, we don't do this shit. Like, we won't end the whole live and start it back over. We don't do that because we know who's, who, who the lesson is. Listen, when the, when the le if this lesson is meant for you to hear, you're going to get it. This is the University of Cosmic Intelligence. This, this is only for the gods and the goddesses, nobody else. This, this ain't even for everybody. See what I'm saying? We don't even need too many people. You get what I'm saying? This ain't for everybody, y'all. This ain't for everybody. This is not for everybody. Let me, let me repeat. Everybody don't need to know this type of information. That's why they're not going to be attracted to it. Listen, y'all. We vibrating so high. If people on Facebook, they don't even see our lives. They'll be seeing us only the ones that need to see it, see us. That's how the universe works. Fact. But let me keep talking though, right? So, notice about these three birds. The quail, the chicken, and the motherfucking turkey. That's your, that's your poultry. That's your poultry. All right? Now, we just went through the three meats. We went through beef. We on poultry. Why is that? All the birds they give you for poultry, your turkeys, your quail, and the chicken, none of them fly. None of these motherfuckers fly. You think that's a coincidence? That all of your poultry, none of them fly? They birds, right? Let's look at them again. I don't think y'all feel me. Let's look at them again, class. Your turkey, your quail, and your chicken. That's what they're using to, to make all our, that's what all our poultry is getting made out of. Those are the three birds. Now, we got eagles and falcons and all these birds that, that are majestic, that actually fly. You know, we got all these birds that actually you know what I'm saying? Why is it that 
the scum of the motherfucking earth of the bird kingdom is the only birds we eat. What type of bird is these? These niggas don't even fly. That's what I want to know. Let's talk about it. Hey, hey. I got all night. Let's talk about it, baby. Why don't these birds fly? I want to talk about it. Somebody, I want to talk about it. Because, see, I told y'all what they want us to do over that type of shit. They don't want us to think. They don't want us to think, y'all. See, this see, see, but we, see, this, this is the last generation, though. This is what we do. You feel me? We them indigo children, them crystals, them rainbows. Them us. 1950 on back, them us. All right? So, we know what beef do, but why is it that the poultry that they feed us in America, that is designed for the black and Latinos, the gods and goddesses, all right? Why is it that none of the birds that we eat fly? Riddle me that. If it's a motherfucking riddle in the house tonight, riddle me that. Riddle, riddle me that. I'm, I'm just a, hey, I'm just a guy with a, I'm just a black guy with an afro asking questions, using my brain. Yeah, can we get a couple of these emojis, class? Can we get these? Can we get the, let's just get that. Before we even keep going, because see, we don't take the time to pause. We just move. Remember, I told y'all they want us to jump over shit. You know what I'm saying? I told they want to fuck with You know what I'm saying? We not doing none of that. When we reach a goddamn point, that's a point that need to be broken down. Oh, we getting jiggy. We gonna soul train line this joint. We gonna soul train line it all the way. We ain't even gonna fuck around. Cause see, it's a lot of smart people in here right now that ain't even saying nothing. Explain to me. The main three meats. Now we already been talking about food and we know that food, we know that food the etymology of food comes from the word father, spelled F, not father, but father, spelled F-O-D-D-E-R. The class already went over that at the beginning of the lecture. We know this, all right? And we know that father is what? Dried hay given to cattle or livestock. Now, we, why, why would you name something you feed in, quote unquote, human beings after something that's supposed to be for livestock? Okay? See, when I point shit out, I point it out for a reason because we're going to come back to it later. You see what I'm saying? See, when I'm saying certain things, they might be saying, like, hold on, where he going? But I'm always tied together for you. You see what I'm saying? If you the shoe, goddamn it, I'm going to shoot string. You feel me? I'm going to tie it together for you. Now, you got to sit back and ask yourself this. All right? We, 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 when we looked at the definition of food, what was food, people? Food broke down to what three things? Proti protein, fats, carbohydrates. We found out that, goddamn it, we don't even need protein thus far. Because they told us that protein is one of the 19 amino acids. Lie number one, we called them in tonight. That was the first lie we called them in. We called them in the first. God damn, we catch them in lies every election. But that was the first one. All right? Because we then went and researched about the silverback gorilla. And the silverback gorilla, who was created by one of our brothers, Yakub. So that means he was created by us. The gorilla was created by us. So he can never be more intelligent or more superior than the god, the Enanuki gods, which they are now calling blacks and Latinos today. Okay? So, if the motherfucking gorilla... Can see this big ass in the forest like this his whole life. No protein. Nigga move, he could be moving trees and everything. He's healthy as can be, living 115 years. But they gonna turn around and tell your black ass and your Latino ass, all right? Even though we know we know we not that. But they gonna turn around and tell your ass, but you know what? You you can't live without protein. That gorilla can live without protein though, but you lower than that gorilla. Your ass need protein. Right? Why? Because protein is one of the 19 essential amino acids. That's what the science community says. That's what the food, what, what they, the FDA, Food and Drug Administration says about protein. All right? But then when we looked at all the foods that was low in protein and low in carbohydrates and low in fats, this is all your healthy stuff like your fruits and your vegetables. So we write that decoded that we don't need no motherfucking food or no father, which is nothing but protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Okay? These proteins and carbohydrates and fats that they have programmed the neurochemistry of our brains to believe that we need to survive are actually poisons used to decalcify our pineal glands and keep us from charging up to the gods that we are, activating our god DNA. All right? Now, we fucking went to beef. All right? When we got the beef, we found out that damn near all the beef we eat is coming from the, the Waguyu bull. I might be enunciating him wrong. If you, are, if you are a human being watching my live, I'm not saying that no disrespectfully. I'm just not from Asia. All right? So I was calling, I was calling bro the W bull. But it, it, it's spelled W A G Y. God damn it, I know what I'm trying to say when I'm saying it, though. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know, you, you, you know what I'm saying when I'm saying. Y'all know y'all be over there domesticating them goddamn W bulls. You feel me? And that's where all the beef come from. Then we got to the cattle. And we looked at where the cattle was domesticated at. And the cattle was domesticated in Western Asia, too. Anyway, in Iran. So why is all the meat that's not good for the gods, but it's great for the human beings? All this shit is being domesticated and, 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 and headquartered in 
and, 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 and places inhibited by Asians, Caucasians, or let's just say human beings. Because that's what they are. All right? But now we own poultry. Because I'm telling y'all that it's a food spell. We don't need food. All right? We already broke down what food is. The etymology of it. All right? It's father. It's for livestock and cattle. Now that you feel like you livestock, then go ahead and get you some food. All right? If you feel like you livestock, get you some food. I'm a god. I don't eat food. I eat energy. We gods. Ananuki gods. Angelic beings. All right? Electrical beings. We eat energy. Photon energy and water. Fact. That's all you need. Fruits and vegetables is like a snack. But what you need is photon energy. And only the sun can get that to you. Facts. All right? Because in our base form, what do we break down to people before we keep going on the poultry? 666. At our, at our base form, what are we? 666. So when I'm telling you we're electrical beings, and if somebody want to be like, man, he crazy. What do you mean we're electrical beings, man? He, he must be high. Well, let me use the scientific words. 666. Six neutrons, six protons, and six electrons, sir. Does that make you feel better, sir? Am I politically correct for you enough, sir? All right? Now, now that we on to this goddamn poultry, we done worked our way through the beef. We seen the bullshit with the beef. Now we on to the chick, to the poultry. You ain't gonna say chicken. Let's call it what they call it. Poultry. Right? And poultry is what? The domesticated fowls that are used for food. It's the imperative that we use the lingo they use. That's how you catch the devil in his lies. You have to use his lingo. You have to break down his lingo. Because he know your lingo. He know our lingo. He came, seen us, played cool with us. We invited, invited him in. Right? They stole the land from us because they knew certain things about us that we had already taught them. Right? So if they came and invaded us and they already know everything about us, they could not have conquered us without learning our weakness. Right? So they already know how you work on a metaphysical level. Everything that they do to us they, it's on a meta, it's a metaphysical attack. See, you stuck in the third dimension, you think it physically. I'm a meat suit. I'm this body. But death proves to you you're not your body. Does it or does it not? When last time you seen a motherfucker die and you look in the casket and his body just disappeared? I ain't never seen it happen. I ain't never seen a nigga die and his body just float out the casket in the middle of the funeral up into the, up into the, the heavens. That body still be there. If you ask me, he looks sleep. So what's the difference between sleep and death? The life force. When he was what you want to call alive, this spirit and soul was within that avatar. And it traveled dimension to dimension. But then, what you want to call death, all right, the spirit and soul of that avatar decided not to come back to this dimension in this physical form. So it didn't. That's all that shit is, all right? So, let's stay focused, though. Let's stay focused, though. Because we're talking about this poultry, and I want to, all I want to know, inquiring, man, and inquiring minds would like to know, why is it that all the poultry that we eat, all right, here they go, don't none of the damn birds fly, okay? Okay, so, I don't know. I've never looked it up, but let's look it up together. I've never looked up what is a bird. But let's just see if they mention anything about flight. I don't know, people. I don't know. I mean, I need some answers, though. I need some answers. I, I never looked up what is a bird. Let's just see. Hey, let's just see what they say. I mean, are they going to mention anything flight? Does it have to do with, with flight? Is flight mentioned? I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe flight isn't mentioned. Maybe we can give, maybe they'll get a pass today. Hey, may, hey, hey, maybe they'll get a pass. Hey, let, let's see if flight gets mentioned. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I ain't even got through. I ain't even got through the whole paragraph and I already scanned it. I got that predator eye. I already scanned him out. All right. There are about 10,000 living species, more than half of which are passerine or perching birds. Birds have wings whose development varies according to species. All right. Wings, which evolved from forelimbs, let them tell it, gave birds the ability to fly. All right. Now, they're not going to tell you the truth about all the cloning and eugenics they didn't did while they've been on our planet. So they hit you with this. Although further evolution has led to the loss of flight in some birds. All right. That's what they're going to tell you. But. That's bullshit. All right, we know what evolution is, right? We did that. That's why I told you I don't believe in the human evolution chart. Where they show you the monkey evolving to the man. Don't you still see monkeys in the zoo? Monkeys running around, right? So, so, so if something evolves from something, then it, it ceases to exist. When a, when a butterfly evolves, I like to use this analogy all the time. When a butterfly evolves from a goddamn caterpillar, do you still see the caterpillar? No, you do not because he's a bird now flying. So let's just stop tossing evolve around like it don't have a meaning. You know, motherfucker just juggle evolve all around like evolve, evolution. Evolve. Like, like it don't mean nothing. Go, do you know what it mean? You just throwing it around. Yeah, we evolved from monkeys. You just gonna throw the motherfucking word around. You have no spiritual understanding of what you're saying. You're just saying it because they taught it to you in school. We evolved from. You see how they, they tricked us into taking on the Neanderthal spirit that they come from? We evolved from apes. No. And then right here, when you look up birds, they telling you clearly that a bird are species that have evolved four limbs, all right? Their forelimbs have evolved to now they are wings. So they just get caught lying in their own motherfucking lie. 
All right, because you just clearly said wings which evolved from forelimbs. I don't see no birds in this running around with no damn forelimbs. They all got wings, right? Because they did evolve from them forelimbs, right? Which is a lie, but it's the truth. I'll break that down. But I'm far as on the word of evolved. Notice, you don't see birds with forelimbs anymore. So, you, so that would be an example of something that has evolved. But if something that has evolved ceases to exist. So this shit about we evolved from apes and shit and it's still apes running around, let you know they're lying about that. All right? But on this definition, they're clearly telling you that a bird is something that should fly. All right? Now... Ask yourself this, why they don't fly? But these are the birds we eat though. Isn't, isn't the falcon the, the, the fastest bird in, a, in, a, in the bird kingdom? Shouldn't he be a delicacy? Why they don't feed us his ass? Isn't the eagle the lion of the air kingdom? He should be the first nigga on the plate. Why we ain't eating his ass? You know what I'm saying? All the majestic birds that fly in the air, ain't none of them niggas coming on our chicken patties. Why are y'all feeding us turkeys, quails, and chickens? I'm gonna tell you why they feeding you that. Because turkeys, quails, and chickens are not from this planet. Facts. That's why the motherfuckers don't fly. You know how many animals they didn't brought with them from other planets? That you think natural to the planet? That's not. These filthy beans? Chicken pox, small pox. Not natural. They brought that with their ass through portals in the Caucasus Mountains. Roaches, rats, dust mites. Not natural. They brought that with their ass through the Caucasus Mountains through the portals. Termites. All the filthy parasites. They brought with their ass. And them turkeys and them quails and them chickens and shit, guess who made them? Yaku made them on Nern when he was making their ass. Because see, Yaku was into eugenics. He had figured out by splicing the brown gene and the black gene that's in the, in the, in the black goddess that he can create a separate race. All right? That's what Yaku had figured out. They called him Yaku, but Yaku just another name for Satan, Zeus, Prometheus, Marduk, Inki. The same person, man. He got a million different names. All right? But he was doing a lot of splicing and genetic manipulation up on that planet. I'll make separate lectures about that. Like I say, after we get through the, the last spell Sunday, we're going to move on to the origin story. Because I'm ready to get to the origin story so I can really get deep, deep, deep on y'all. You feel me? But, you know, when, 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 when Zeus was on Nern creating these human beings, man, he did a lot of genetic splicing. That's where werewolves come from. That's where your vampire stories come from. All right? That's where all this stuff come from. This shit is real deal. It's real. It's not nothing that they ever wrote about from the elves to the trolls to the fucking monsters. They didn't show. They, they, that's not real. They, 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 they don't exist. They have never wrote about a, no creation in their Hollywood movies that don't exist. Human beings, they don't have a soul. I keep telling y'all this. Y'all think I'm being mean? I'm not being, I'm being honest. They don't have a soul. They are soulless beings. All right? They are soulless beings. They actually lack carbon, so that means they lack life force. So they actually are lifeless, soulless beings. I'm talking about human beings. Caucasians, Asians, Dravidians. Man. I'm being honest. They do not lie. They Listen, they, they got a small dose of melanin. Which Zeus gave them, trying to manipulate it into carbon. But their body, because the gene, their genes are so recessive, the white gene is so fucking recessive, they couldn't take the carbon when he was trying to give it in them, put it in them. All right? Because they don't come from dark matter energy. He spliced them from a lemur. He used a lemur, a pig, a dog, and a snub nosed monkey, and one drop of God DNA. All right? That's how human beings came about. And the first human being that was fucking created was the fucking, the first version of them was the fucking monkey. And Zeus wasn't happy with that. Yaku wasn't happy with that. Satan wasn't happy with that. He was like, no. No, nah, I want them in our image, in my image. All right? They look like us. This is the image of a God. Arm. Um, what you think Allah come, I keep telling y'all, technology, the, the, what you think Allah come from in, in Arabic, the, it's an acronym. Allah means God, right? And what's the acronym for Allah? Arm, um, leg, leg, arm, um, motherfucking head. Allah. Arm, um, leg, leg, arm, um, head. Allah, you're looking at them every day in the mirror. Signs and symbols for the conscious mind. I don't give a fuck who... A Muslim and feel like they mad, get off my life. Get out, don't just ain't even lie. Exit the university. We not here to do nothing but kick esoterical facts. That's all we kicking. High charge. I'm giving y'all high powered energy. High frequency, deep messages. The CIA know all this shit. Facts. They know all this shit. I'm telling y'all. So, I'm not lying to y'all. You feel me when I'm telling y'all about these quails, all right? And these chickens, all right, that they feed us. And this turkey meat that we love. These are not natural animals that are from our goddamn planet, all right? So this is another reason why you shouldn't be eating chicken. And a lot of people don't even know. Sometimes they be using pigeons and quails. This shit don't even be chicken. Facts. They'll tell you it's a chicken. And that should be a quail or a pigeon they didn't use. You better go do your research. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to do all the research for y'all now. I'm going to just give y'all the game about the food spill. All right? So y'all can break up out of it. All right? And be aware of it. But peep game. All the goddamn birds that we eat, none of the motherfuckers fly. That's not weird to y'all. You think that's a coincidence? Because they are not from this planet. They are not real birds. They are clones. They, are, they were made through genetic splicing. That's why they ass don't fucking fly. All right? Every other bird on the planet have no problem taking off. All they ass have issues. And that quail, he ain't gonna fly no more than three feet off the ground. But he'll run all day on your ass. Why are you a bird but you can't fly? Is that not an oxymoron? 
That's like saying my big little brother. You a bird, but you ain't fly. You a bird, but you can't fly. Like what? And, and people think like that'll go over our head on so many levels. Like, oh, that ain't nothing. They just run. No, that's not no coincidence that every bird that we eat can't fly. Because they are not real birds. They are not natural. Facts. Factuals. Period. Period. They go to Turkey. You, you motherfuckers eat turkey, don't you? You know you eat turkey. You do. Don't lie, I say you don't, you do. You just bought some turkey yesterday. Stop lying. Yes, you do. Now, you might not know that some of that chicken you think is chicken is a quail or a goddamn pigeon, but it is. There you go. And guess what? His little ass don't fly neither like that. All right? And we all know about him. We chicken crazy, right? But guess what? His ass don't fly neither. But they supposed to be birds, though. But they supposed to be birds. You think these animals are natural to the planet? No. They were genetically spliced, created on another planet, and brought to this planet. Facts. Just like cannabis. What we call weed, cannabis comes from the cannabis plant. The cannabis plant comes from a whole a planet up in the Sirius star system that was also brought here. Facts. The weed that we smoke nowadays ain't even real weed. Facts. Facts. Cannabis, the cannabis plant was brought here to help tame the human beings because they have animalistic behavior. I'm going to do a whole separate live on that. They are, that. Human beings, Caucasians, Asians, they naturally have animalistic behavior because they were made with animal genetics okay they have animal genetics in them this is why they smell like dogs when they get wet and shit this is why they so fucking violent and aggressive and so chaotic i'm speaking real life facts about their biology you don't have animal dna in you but they do all right they have animal dna in them okay so when on their home planet it's frozen it's cold they ass eating meat all the time they're cannibals that's why it's called cannabis the cannabis was created to calm down a cannibal in them facts i'm gonna make a separate live on this shit all right I'm giving y'all cosmic information here. Can a lot of y'all don't even know they smoke weed. It's called cannabis, right? Cannabis was originally created for them and it came from the cannabis planet up in the Sirius star system. All right? That's why in the 60s, when the cannabis was first brought, in the 40s and 50s, when the cannabis was brought from that other planet down to this planet for to help civilize the human beings, when they start smoking the cannabis, how the fuck did they act? It started a whole movement called the hippie movement. Yes, it did. And go, hey, I got a whole lecture coming up on the hippie movement. Yes, it did. Hey, all the people in the 60s who never smoking real cannabis, not the shit that we get today that is tampered with, that they spray on with opium and all type of shit. Anytime the government legalized weed, you better know that shit is something wrong with it. Anytime the government legalized weed, you know something wrong with it. But back in the 60s, they had real cannabis. It was way stronger. Facts. And cannabis was brought to tame the animal DNA inside of the human beings because they was made with, with human DNA. I mean, with dog DNA and animal DNA. And that's why when they started smoking the cannabis... They ass started calming down because it started open. It started decalcifying their pineal gland. Remember, human beings do have pineal glands, but they are decalcified. The cannabis is to, I mean, they are calcified. The cannabis decalcifies it. And that's why all them hippies, they just started opening up. They started fucking with black people hard. They started supporting the civil rights movement. Yeah, go do your research. Go look up Jim Morris and that man was deep. White boy. Yeah, I was smoking that cannabis, third eye open. Yeah, because see, once, see, the thing about those human beings, if they third eye was to open, they would come in tune with the, with the true essence of they, or who they are, which is they are the sons of God. Human beings are the sons of God because we are the gods. This is a fact. But the human DNA inside of them is hard for them to, to get past that they were bred for chaos. They were created for war. They were created to destroy. It. So they can't help it. This is what they was fucking bred to do. Like the Doberman pitcher, his ass was bred to attack. So no matter what you do, he gonna attack your motherfucking ass. That's why they was turning on their owners a lot in the 90s. They had ended up getting a bad name. Pit bulls too. Because they are bred to fight. Bred to attack. When something is bred to do something, that means they have... Let me give y'all the eugenics on it. That means they have spliced certain genetics out of this animal and that animal purposely and mixed them together to create this reaction from this new animal, this Doberman Pinscher or this pit bull. Just go research how many dogs were spliced. Like, I'm not lying about splicing the eugenics. This shit been going on. This shit been going on. What's good, cuz? I see you. 111 is definitely gonna hit it. You know, the angels talking numbers. So... I'm trying to get y'all to open up y'all pineal gland. I'm telling y'all real facts. That's why they got a hold of the cannabis plant. And they started, hey man, I'm going to say that for a whole nother lecture, man. I'm going to stay focused right now, right now on this. All right? But like I said, man, like I was saying about these goddamn birds, man. This is not no coincidence, okay? This is not no coincidence at all. It ain't no coincidence at all, all right? It ain't one at all. Look at them. All three of them birds can't fly. None of them fly. They're not natural birds. So when you're eating poultry, you're not eating natural food anyway. You're not eating natural animals anyway. You're not supposed to eat animals anyway to begin with. But definitely when you're eating poultry, and is poultry not one of the most popular? Facts. Facts. All right, let's keep going, man. Let's keep going, man. You want to know why you shouldn't eat chicken. That's why, because it ain't fucking an actual animal that's from the goddamn planet. That's why. Why shouldn't I eat turkey? Because he ain't from this motherfucking planet. So even when you're eating turkey and chicken, it's a little healthier than beef. But it's still the same thing. Somebody said pigeons fly. Yes, pigeons do fly. But what are pigeons? Are pigeons not the dirtiest of the motherfucking birds? That's just like crabs. Crabs and shrimp, it's the roaches of the ocean. And I used to let the shit out some shrimp. But shrimp crawl and scavenge on the bottom of the ocean surface. Floor, I mean. This is real facts. 
All right. So we didn't say that pigeons don't fly. All right. Because all three of the birds have access to technology where they can potentially fly for small variants of time. But they don't fly like the real birds because they are not real birds. They, it's not natural for them to fly. So they don't fucking fly. Or you would see their ass in the air a lot. All right. You would see their ass in the air and not on the goddamn ground. Remember my last class? I did the eagle and the chicken story. Wasn't the chicken running around his whole goddamn life? Caulking and shit? Yeah, that's what chickens do. Turkeys do the same thing. So pigeons, yeah, pigeons fly. But at the same time, you know pigeons is what? All right? You know what I'm saying? So but let's stay focused, though, team. We got a lot to get through. Popular foods made from poultry. That ain't hard to do. What is them, y'all? Chicken nuggets. You look 10 piece from wing stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Popular foods made from poultry. So let's keep it going. What is pork? All right, let's get deep. Let's get a little deeper. What is pork? All right? So we all know pork bad. Everybody know pork. I think out of all the meat, pork is the one where everybody be like, ah, I know I heard about it. But no, nah, let's get deeper, man. You don't really even, even know what pork Pork is the worst the worst one for, for, for a whole different reason. All right? Let's get it. What are they saying about pork? Pork <coughs> is the culinary name for the meat of a domestic pig. Okay? It is the most commonly consumed meat worldwide. Focus. Pork is the culinary name for the meat of a domestic pig. It is the most commonly consumed meat worldwide. That's by design, not accident, with evidence of pig husbandry dating back to 5000 BC. Pork is eating both freshly cooked and preserved. All right. A lot of that just went over y'all here. What they said with evidence of pig husbandry. Yes. You didn't know. Yes. Motherfuckers was marrying their pigs. Yes. That's what that means. You, you read it, right? Did that just say pork? Uh, did that, did, hold on. Hold on. Did he just say it is the most commonly consumed meat worldwide? With evidence of pig husbandry dating back to 5,000 BC? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me show you that again real quick before we keep going. Yeah, if that, that, that crossed your mother, if that blew your corn off your motherfucking cob. Yeah, that's what he said. You read that right? It is the most commonly consumed meat worldwide with evidence of pig husbandry dating, 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 dating. D A T I N G, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's talk about it. I wonder why. Well, I wonder why. Who would have knew? Who would have knew? Who would have thought, if you didn't know, that they, they tell me, you look up pork, they let you know, hey, pork, back 5,000 BC, they was marrying these pigs, having sex with these pigs, dating their pigs. I wonder why. I wonder what do they have in common with this pig? Hmm. Kind of reminds me of the dog, right? You ever wonder how, like, human beings love tongue kissing their dog? They got all these, all these, they even got a porn genre for it called bestiality. Ugh. These motherfuckers are sick. See, I'm not being racist. I'm expressing the different things in the neurochemistry that you should look at to know to further let you know these motherfuckers is not from our planet. At all. At all. All right? They, they, they yeah. You read it right? They was dating their pigs, having sex with their animals. Been doing it since ancient Greek days. They was doing it in the caves. Right, yeah, they the original dirty dick. Why a black woman, ain't he a dirty, dirty dick? He want to stick his dick in you? Nah, the original dirty dick was that white man that y'all be praising. Facts. That they programmed y'all to praise. He's the original dirty dick. All right? And still in this day, these motherfuckers got laws intact in Europe where they can marry their dogs. And they be marrying their dogs. They be having sex with their dogs. The women be letting the dogs fuck them in the ass. All type of stuff. Facts. They be raping. Listen, it's men overseas that go to jail for raping dogs. Nigga, how do you rape a dog? It's video footage of Asian men raping chickens. But y'all want to keep believing that I'm the motherfucker that's crazy? That I'm the motherfucker being racist? I'm the motherfucker making up shit? I'm not. You ain't going to see nobody, black Latino, raping no chickens, marrying no pigs, fucking no dogs, kissing no, none of that. None of that. And then y'all wonder why they got no problem. They get a dog more, more, more respect than your motherfucking ass in this country, don't they? Don't they? Yes, they do. That dog got a green card, life insurance, rights. His ass can vote. His ass get treated equally. All that shit. He got more rights than your ass. Facts. See, Mike, they, they proved that with Michael Vick. What you talking about? They just killed Breonna Taylor. They ain't charged the cop shit. That nigga ain't gonna do a date. Michael Vick fought some dogs and that nigga did two years inside jail. Y'all better wake the fuck up. Keep believing that these motherfuckers is from our planet if you want to. Keep wondering, why are they killing us? Why us? Because they not from our motherfucking planet. And I'm going to keep proving this to y'all every lecture with basic science. This is basic science. We ain't even got to the deep metaphysics and deep quantum physics. This is basic. We in the basic level of the cosmic university right now, y'all. This is like kindergarten we going through, y'all. We did just kindergarten, y'all. We just in on the kindergarten level of this shit. I'm telling you right now. Wait, wait, hey. All right, we going to get so deep. Listen. But I need y'all to, to meditate on what y'all put inside of y'all temples. Before I even get on this motherfucking pig. 
All right. Understand, my people, that these beans, this pork that you love to eat, yeah, it's from the meat of a pig. We know that. But what does this pig mean to them? It means a lot to them. It means a lot to them. Yeah, share this live. Spread the information. We ain't come to fuck around. I ain't come to fuck around. I ain't come. I ain't come, y'all. I ain't come. We just getting started, though. I told y'all this, this was a night class. All right? They, they pushed us back earlier. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. See, they don't want 500 people in here. They know if we go on time, we're going to have about 700 people in here. They know it. But it's cool. We're going we gonna to eat. We're going to get to it, though. So what is pork? We know what pork is now. Let's keep going, y'all. Popular foods made from pork. We know. Hot dogs and bacon. We ain't going to waste too much time. Let's keep going. Now, what is a pig? What is a pig? Before I tell y'all what a pig is, let's see what Wikipedia is going to say. Let's see what Wikipedia has to say about their beloved pig that they marry, that they've been having their little husband, husbandry with since 5000 BC, right? Ain't that what they said, y'all? Husbandry since 5000 BC. Let's see what they got to say about these pigs, man. We ain't going to go too far along. Y'all can read this y'all self, but I'm, I'm going to read the first, first paragraph, all right? Look at him. Does he look like a natural animal to y'all? See, a lot of y'all think you, a pig is a natural animal to this planet, but he's not. And I'm about to get on his ass right now. Don't even worry about it. But a pig is any of the animals in the Guinness, all right, with the even toe ogulet family. Pigs include domestic pigs and their ancestors, the common Eurasian wild boar, along with other species. Pigs are native to Eurasian and African continents, ranging from Europe to the Pacific Islands, all right? Keep in mind, when they say African continents, we know the true African continent, right? What's the true African continent, people? Europe. Because we know that Africa was named after Scipio Africanus, who was what? A European. All right. So that's technology when they say um, our native to the Eurasian and African continents. What was the original Africa, y'all? Because we know that that continent is not named no motherfucking Africa. All right. That's part of Atlantis. But they now name it Africa. All right. They took Atlantis, landed on our shit and divided Atlantis up into seven different continents. Australia, North America, South America. Did it. All this shit is Atlantis. OK. But keep in mind, they're telling you they are native to the Eurasian. We know Eurasia is in where? Europe. Why did the ancestors name it Europe? Because it was your rope. We didn't want they ass to go too far from the motherfucking caves. So when the Moors were teaching them language, they say, hey, this is your rope, meaning don't cross over this motherfucker or them gods is going to fuck you up. All right. Y'all not ready yet. So this is your rope. That's where the term Europe comes from. All right. I'm giving y'all etymological breakdowns, etymological breakdowns right now. All right. Let's keep going, though. So this is this is why the ancestors even named that region where they came out of when they came out of the Caucasus Mountains, when, it, when they came out of the Caucasus Mountains. All right. So anyway, ranging from Europe to the Pacific Islands. All right. So. They want to talk a little bit about the Suets other than the pig are the, Barbur the, the Barbaris of, the Indo of Indonesia. The pygmy hog of Asia. Pay attention. The pygmy hog of Asia, the wart hog of Africa, and another Guinness of pigs from Africa. The Suets are sister clad to precarious. Juvenile pigs are known as piglets. Pigs are highly social and intelligent animals. All right. With around one billion individuals alive at any time, the domestic pig is among the most populous large animals in the world. Pigs are omnivores and consume a wide range of food. Pigs are biologically similar. What? Pigs are biologically similar to humans and thus frequently used for human medical research. Let's run that back. Pigs are biologically similar to humans and are thus frequently used for human medical research. Let's run it back again. Pigs are biologically similar to humans and thus are frequently used for human medical research. I'm not being on no racist shit when I'm saying y'all got the same skin as a motherfucking pig. Go in the sun, y'all start cooking like Oscar Mayer bacon in the pan. Facts. 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 No matter how much suntan y'all grab, I said this in the last lecture, this is why. This is the science why. Because see, now I'm getting on the pig. I want to show y'all that first. I'm, thank you, Wiki. Thank you for not making me have to expose you even further. All right? She helped me out a lot, y'all. She just told y'all pigs are biologically similar to humans. All right. Now let me get on their ass. Now it's time to get on their ass. Hold on. Let me show this pig. Look at him. Look at him. He, you thought, see, see, you, you, you thought, you probably was under the, the, the preconceived notion. Like we all was, that pigs are natural to the planet. Just like they want us to believe that we are all human beings. You get it? You see what they do to those people? The fuckery of these, of these belligerent bastards. Let's use some of their they lingo. The fuckery of these belligerent bastards. All right? But listen, right? This pig is not native to this planet. He is not native to this planet. This pig has human DNA. Wikipedia just told you that. But why? Why, Sway? How, Sway? Sway, how? How is the pig having the same DNA as a human? We know we ain't humans. We go out in the sun. It's carbon. We get stronger. 
We download more information. We activate more memories when we get in the sun. That's what the sun does to us. It, it repairs our DNA. Right? That's what they don't want you to know. But when they get in the sun, they ask get to turn into cheese, eggs, and, and bacon and shit. You get what I'm saying? Because they have the same DNA as a pig. All right? So why? Because when Yaku was creating them, I keep telling y'all I'm not being racist. When Zeus was creating them, he used the pig to make their skin, which is why they had the same skin as a motherfucking pig. They literally, the same skin that's on a pig is the same skin that Caucasians have on them. Facts. Now nah, I ain't like the similar. No, it's the same, motherfucker. Yes, I said it. It's the same. It's the same, right? And I know it might be hard to believe, but hey, the truth is stranger than science motherfucking fiction. All right? I'm being real. Now, these pigs were created on Nern. Okay? These pigs were created on Nern because Zeus was doing a lot of splicing. Remember, he was into creating a new being. Zeus wanted to go outside of himself. He had went outside of himself. Remember, I posted a video on my YouTube teaching you guys how to greet each other. Why? Because true prayer is to praise yourself and to praise other deities, which is other gods or goddesses. This is what your ancestors did because your ancestors knew the one and only truth. There is no other gods. There is only you. Everybody is you in another form. Okay? The ancestors knew that truth. Zeus knew that truth. But Zeus got tired of praising himself. Zeus was like, I want to create something to praise me. And I'm going to make them only praise me. That's why in the Bible they say God was a jealous God. Because Zeus, their creator was a jealous God. All right? But I'm going to get into that in the, in the creation story. But we're going to stay on these pigs. But when, when he was on Nern, he created them. The pigs. And what were the pigs created to do? They were only created to clean out the caves on Nern. So this is why pigs don't have pores. They don't sweat. They are literally walking dump trucks. They were only created to eat up junk, to pick up junk, walking dump trucks. Literally. This is what Zeus created them for on Nern. And they would go in the caves and eat up all the werewolf feces, all the feces of the vampires, all the feces of the human beings. They would walk around the planet eating up all the feces of all the creations Zeus had created on the motherfucking planet. Facts. All right? Yeah, it get deep. Wait till I get to teaching y'all about the Nomos. And y'all found out what dolphins really are, how dolphins are from another, from the Sirius star system, just like us. Facts. It get deep. It gets so motherfucking deep. Okay? What's the oldest tribe in Africa where they, that, that taught these Europeans about astrology that they want to talk about? The, the doggone? The doggone? Right? And what do they tell you? They tell you that their ancestors came from the stars. Because we, the gods, came from the stars. All right? So you got to understand this to know about this pig and the role he played. The role the pig played. He was on Nern. But... When they set off in the galaxy, that's what Star Trek was about. Da, 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 da. And remember, they were showing you eat. Think about Star Trek and Star Wars. They showed you how they came. Then they show you humanoid beings. Captain Kirk and all the motherfuckers. Luke Skywalker and all the motherfuckers was what? Humanoid, right? White human beings. And what was they on the goddamn plane with? What was Yoda? He was a carbonated based being. He represented the Moors that was trying to teach them. Wasn't the Moors trying to teach? Didn't the Moors civilize the human beings? Didn't the Moors give? The Moors sold us out. All right? The Moors the one that gave these human beings along with these reptilians the access codes to our ancient technology are macabre that fucking blew the whole our electromagnetic field off balance. The Moors did that. So in Star Wars, but they were tricked though. They didn't try to do it, but they were tricked. All right. But the Moors were shown. That's what Yoda represents in Star Wars. He is a Moor. That's why he is green, carbonated being. All right. Our original colors was what? Green, red, blue. I'm red pilling y'all last right now. Don't trip. I'm gonna make some more lectures about all this shit. Just ride the wave. It's cool. Just ride the motherfucking wave. Don't ask me to break every little thing down. I want you to just hit this right now. I'm gonna come back to it later and break it down. I got y'all. Just hit a, hit a story. Because it's all deals with this motherfucking pig and this food spit. Alright? So you got to know what was going on. Okay? Y'all gotta, got to know this. And, and I can tell y'all the creation story and snippets of it over and over again because it's so foreign that we're going to need to hear it over and over again. But when you start looking around your home planet and seeing that these palm trees are not from this planet, palm trees are not from this planet either. Facts. You get to find out that we ain't from this planet and goddamn it, these pyramids was built from the top down and fucking pigs ain't normal animals and rats and roaches ain't normal and the three birds we eat, yeah. Yeah, you get to really figure it out. We not motherfucking alone. But these aliens, they fool you into learning about as a kid. They was really talking about us. We come from the Sirius star system. We the Anunnaki gods. We created the earth as a, as, a, as a second home for us. Then our second home was attacked. So the Anunnaki gods that was already on this earth got separated. We got separated from our other Anunnaki gods that was on the, that's still up on the Sirius star system. And when they closed the firmament, that separated us and blocked us off from them in the last 500 years. We've been trying to get to them. Well, we haven't even trying to get to them because we've been down here enslaved, blind. But they were trying to get through that dome to us. And after the invasion is over with, they're able to get through to us. This is all the other explosions and stuff y'all seeing. But these pigs were created by Zeus on Nern. This war been going on before time was invented by these humans. All right? So when he was splicing them, he used the dog. That's why they be smelling like dogs when they get wet. I'm trying to tell you why. They have dog DNA. Yes, they do. This is why they say dog is a man's best friend. Canine DNA. He used the dog 
and the pig. The pig is where they get their skin from. The lemur is where they get their hair from or their fur. All right? And then he used a drop of our, his blood, which is our DNA. That's why they walk around looking like us and you ain't know they was from another motherfucking planet. Yes, they is. The motherfuckers grow tails and everything. Facts. And they got to get off our planet. It's over with. Because they are parasitical to the planet. The planet is kicking them off. The only ones going to be allowed to stay is the ones with good spirits. I'm telling y'all a message right now directly from the planet. From the ancestors. I ain't telling you what, I, what, I'm, what I'm thinking. I'm telling you what it is. This was already happening. So when I'm telling y'all about this pig, that was his purpose. All right? The pig was created. The pig was created. He's a fucking parasite. He was created to eat other parasitical things. That's why they tell you in the Bible that story about how Jesus, he cast the spirits out and sent them into the pigs. They were bred for this. So when you're eating that pig, you're putting that inside of your system. Do you wonder why pork take almost a year to digest in your system? Metaphysically, you're putting that inside of your system. You're not supposed to be eating animals to begin with, but a pig ain't even a fucking animal. All right? It's not a, it's a synthetic fucking, it's a synthetic dump truck. That's what the fuck it is. It's a synthetic moving dump truck. That's what a pig is. Every animal sweat. Every thing with life sweat. Even plants got pores, right? Why don't pigs have pores? Because they were mutated, genetically created in a motherfucking lab. That's why. That's why they don't have pores. So what they got to do? They got to roll around in the mud. They got to roll around in the mud all day to try to keep cool. And they don't, they, they don't, they can't let out sweat. They let out green pus from the bottom of their hooves and shit. And what they eat feces and they even eat you. A pig will eat anything. Did you know that? Did y'all know that a pig will eat your motherfucking ass? Yes. Pigs eat anything because they are literally synthetic walking dump trucks. That's why you ain't supposed to eat no motherfucking pork. It's not even an animal. Look at his ass. Look at him. Do that like a normal animal to you? Look at his, look at these little hoofs. Look at the hair. Look at his head. Look at his ears. Look at his nose and face. Look at the way the little tail. What kind of tail is that? That ain't no fucking tail. Alright? It's not an actual animal, people. That is one of Zeus's creations. You don't even know the type of demonic forces you opening up and exposing your being to by eating pork. Facts. Let's keep going. Let's keep going, y'all. Huey P. Newton. That's my boy. Now, Huey P. Newton, right? Huey had a saying, y'all. Huey had a real life saying back in the 60s, man. Where they said, man, we're going to follow them pigs. They called them pigs, didn't they? They called them pigs. They called them pigs. They called them pigs. And what did we do? We didn't even know the metaphysical understanding of the history of the pig or of us. So we just thought they were just saying some shit. When they was calling cops pigs, racist pig, they wasn't just saying that for no reason. They understood the metaphysics of the humanoid biological makeup or his anatomy. That Caucasian, that Caucasian man, that Caucasian woman, that Asian man, that Asian woman, that, that Indian man, that Indian woman, that Mexican man, that Mexican woman, that Arab man, that Arab woman all have animal DNA. They were made using dogs, pigs, lemurs, snub-nosed monkeys, and us. A drop of, just a little drop of our blood. Zeus put a drop of his own blood in that, in that Petri dish, but he made them. All right? And this is why the Panther said back in the 60s, we're going to follow them pigs. All right? We're going to follow them pigs. We'll police you pigs. All right? That's what the Panther said, didn't they? Y'all thought they were just calling them pigs to call them that. No, the Panthers called them pigs because the Panthers knew that we were the original gods of the earth and that these human beings are invaders and that their ancestors are not from this planet. So yeah, if you're a human being and you're here now, yeah, you was born on this planet, but you are not from our planet. Your ancestors come from Nern. Y'all don't have no moon, no sun, and it's cold as fuck on y'all planet. That's why y'all like being outside in the cold if you didn't know. I'm telling y'all about y'all. If you want to know why is it that black and Latinos are so athletic and we're not, because you lack that Achilles heel, that extra bone, it's not fucking there because you are not an actual you're not a god. You, you were a creation, a size experiment that went wrong. I'm just going to be honest with you. All right? And then you motherfuckers left Nern and headed for looking for us. And when y'all found us, using that same technology that y'all now call CERN, same technology, y'all came on them same helicopters and planes we now fly in that y'all call 757 Boeing jets. Yeah, yeah, they hijacked them from planet the planet Egypt, flew through the, th flew through the galaxy, trying to find the brightest blue star in the cosmos or planet Kai. Y'all was looking for us. Because y'all had heard stories about us from Zeus, y'all creator. Y'all already knew about the planet of the gods. Y'all already heard about the Amazonian goddesses on the planet. These tall magical beings and all this power that they had. Y'all just had to see it for y'all motherfucking self. And thankfully for you guys, one of your best settlers, Christopher Columbus, bitch ass, he found us. He hit the right wormhole, found our galaxy. Y'all entered to, on our planet through portals in the Caucasus Mountains. This is why our ancestors named you guys Caucasians. Because y'all originally came out of the Caucasus Mountains through portals deep in the Caucasus Mountains. 
All right. What is the actual name of this planet? The actual name of this planet is Kai or Tiamat. All right. We have four names for it. You might, it was called Kai, K-I, or Planet Tiamat, which is why it's called a planet. Planet means plain T, P-L-A-N-E dash T. T means Tiamat. All right. So the original name of our planet was Kai, Tiamat, or the woman that shaped, or the planet that's shaped like a woman's head, because our planet is shaped like a woman's head, or the brightest blue star in the cosmos. Facts. These are the original names of our planet. Factuals. Earth was a nickname for fucking Nern. So when they came, when they took over our planet, they renamed it Earth. Just like when they took over at the different parts of Atlantis. Did they not rename every fucking continent after them? America, Russia, Asia, Africa. Every continent is named after a fucking European. Fact. So that's what they do. They come and invade, take over shit, and name it after they motherfucking self like they discovered or made some shit up. They did not. This is not called Earth. Earth is the name of where they from. This is, this is Kai. We on Tiamat. Brightest blue star in the cosmos. The planet is shaped like a woman's head. That's the divine name of our planet. And the FBI, CIA know this shit. They be watching my lives. They be the ones stopping my shit from going, but they can't get to me. They can't fuck with me. My dark matter energy level is too high. So, and that's another lecture I'm going to do. When we born, right, they, they measure our dark matter level, uh, our dark matter, dark matter energy levels. All right, I'm be talking about that. That's part of the food spell too. I'm going to be getting to that, but they measure our dark matter energy levels. That's the real reason why they take your baby from you when it's born. Come here, give it to me. And they go right in the next room and they draw the blood. Because what is in your blood? Magnesium. Soul and spirit is in the blood. Remember, what is the blood? Soul and the life force is in the blood. This is why you're not supposed to eat the blood of another fucking animal. Okay? Because your life force is in the blood. So when you are born, they draw some blood from your baby and they go measure his dark energy levels. Remember, we are dark matter energy. Dark matter energy is the most powerful thing in the, in the cosmos. It created carbon. That's why they came out with the movie Rise of the Dark Phoenix. That's about, and that's about the dark matter energy. But they put a white woman face on it because they always want to put they plaster their motherfucking face on our true power in history. That's what they do. Yeah, that's why they ain't never had no black superheroes. So y'all should know that the, the superheroes is all about us because ain't no black ones. Facts. That's why they kept every superhero white. Facts. On purpose. Facts. Ain't no black superheroes. Green Lantern was black one time, and then they made his ass white again. Facts. So, Storm, they gave us Storm. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Every superhero, that's, that's about our DNA. But <clears throat> that's why Hugh P. Newton said this, though, y'all. Called them fucking pigs. Because he knew the truth about them and their DNA, and he knew that they were not from our planet, people. That's why they were called pigs in the 50s and 60s. Remember who you are. Remember who you are, my people. What is the etymology of cattle? All right? Let's find out. Let's find out. Yeah, that they be trying to fuck with my computer too, because sometimes I have stuff pulled up for y'all. I notice when I get into the lecture, it be gone. I be like, what the hell? So, you know, that's, they, they can do little stuff like that, but they can't stop the message, you feel me? Because this is the 500 year awakening, y'all. 500 year invasion is over with. All right? It's over with. And they know it. So, this is how we rise. This information is what leads you to rising. All right? Let's see. Let's see if they're going to give us the etymology. If they don't give me the etymology right here, I want to keep it going, so I'm going to have y'all do it on y'all own. Let's see. They might give it to us, though. Let's see. Here you go. Uh, I think they gave it to us. I think they gave it to us, y'all. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Pay attention. So what is the etymology of cattle? Cattle did not originate as a term for bovine animals, so that wasn't the original name. Pay attention. It was borrowed from Anglo-Norman Cattell, itself from med medieval Latin. Which meant principal sum of money or capital. Itself derived in turn from Latin. Cattle, cattle originally meant movable personal property, especially livestock of any kind. Oh shit. Oh my god. I, that didn't hit y'all. That didn't hit y'all. That just went over y'all motherfucking head. Let me let me let me let me catch it and bring it back for you. Alright? This is the etymology of cattle. So this is the, the root meaning of cattle. What is the root meaning of cattle? The root meaning of cattle, cattle did not originate. Y'all see it. It did not originate as a term for bovine animals. It was borrowed from Anglo-Norman. All right. And the word itself, cattle, is Latin for principal sum of motherfucking money or capital. And what was cattle originally? Cattle originally meant movable personal property, especially livestock of any kind, as opposed to. So listen, now ask yourself this. Did, did, well, have we not been talking about livestock? All right. Have we had? Well, did we look up food and, and we broke down how how protein and fats and, 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 and carbohydrates is all lies. You don't need none of that shit. All right. And then we got to the meats. All right. We got to beef. Right. And, 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 and they kept talking about cattle and shit like that. And I kept telling y'all to focus on the word cattle. OK. I kept telling y'all to focus on the word cattle for a reason. OK. So then once we finally get to the etymology of cattle, you see the cattle is a principal sum of motherfucking money. 
So cattle means a principal sum of motherfucking money. Now, what was the etymology of food again at the beginning of this course, people? What does food come from? Father, F-O-D-D-E-R. What is father? Hey, did you give to who? Livestock or who? Cattle. Okay, so we know that food is something that they give to cattle or livestock. So if, if, if cattle was a principal sum of motherfucking money, all right, or capital, what is that telling you, people? What is that telling you, people? What is food really? What is food really? What is food really? What is motherfucking food really? What is food really? Let's read it back now. Y'all acting like it ain't clicking now. Let's read it back. We've been talking about cattle, right? We, we was on, hold on. Let's go back. How do we get here? Well, when we talk about what is a pig and we was talking about Huey P. Newton, when we right here with popular foods made from pork and all this, and they kept talking about cattle. And we finally went to the etymology of cattle and now they get to talk about cattle. Cattle means a, prim a principal sum of money or capital. So this is why they look at your motherfucking ass as cattle. This is why they feed you food because food comes from fodder, which is grain or hay that you give to your cattle. All right. Which is your what? What is cattle? Originally meant movable personal property. All right. So they term us. They, they call it food because food comes from fodder, which is for livestock or cattle. They call it food basically because they look at you and I as fucking cattle. All right. We are the principal sum of money. We are their property. OK, so this is why they feed their they, they we are their property because we are their cattle and they feed their cattle. What food? Mm. We are their property. So this makes us their cattle. Right. And they feed their cattle. What food? <laughs> mm. Mm. With the cattle, it broke the etymology of cattle was what principal sum of money or capital. How many of us knew that? How many of us knew that in here tonight? Let's be real with ourselves. How many of y'all knew that cattle had anything to do with fucking money? Or knew it that much? Principal sum of money exactly is what it means. And cattle originally meant movable personal property. So you are looked at as cattle. You are movable personal property, which is why they give you food. All right? And what is the food consist of? Fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, which are chemicals that you don't need in you at all. Is, is it clicking now? Is it clicking? I hope this shit started to click to y'all. I hope it's starting to click to y'all. This food that you're putting in your body. Fuck meat, just to even the term. Food. Food. Rose say not exactly. Hey, you have to go back and catch it. Catch the catch um catch the, the earlier part. So earlier part of the live. Yeah, I can't break it. I can't, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But basically, we started with what is food? Talking about the food spell. Food broke down the fo to photon, I mean the protons. I'm tripping. Food broke down the protein, fats, carbohydrates. We went and decoded carbohydrates, proteins, and fats already to see that you don't even need that in your body. We then broke down the etymology of food. What is food? Fodder, F-O-D-D-E-R, which is what they give to livestock or cattle. We then looked up what is cattle. Cattle is, comes from the root word. I mean, cattle did not originate as the term of, for bovine animals. This is the etymology of cattle, people. All right? It comes from the Latin word, which meant capital, principal sum of money, capital. Cattle originally meant movable personal property. Especially livestock, but we know that they already view us as livestock. Somebody said, so now we ain't supposed to eat. No, you're not supposed to eat. But you are under a food spell, so you will have to eat as for now. For now, you're gonna have to still eat. Cause I'm gonna break down the, how deep the food spell hit. I'm just breaking down cattle and shit. We still in we still in the lesson. Um, um, God, is that a guy? Yeah, we still in the lesson, God. Thank you, thank you. So this shit should be clicking to y'all. It should be clicking what food is and why they even call it food. Get what I'm saying? Why they give us poultry. Those birds that are not even natural. Why they give us pork? So they give us poultry, man-made animals, pork, man-made animals, and beef, which is a man-made, human-made, domesticated animal that comes out of Asia in Western Iran. So this is all human-made produced. Do y'all see the motherfucking technology? Do y'all see what I'm showing y'all? All right? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It get deep. Oh, yeah, we get deep. We get deep. We, we gonna boogie tonight. We gonna dance to the boogie get down. You feel me? We gonna boogie tonight. We came to boogie. This leads me to my next slide, the island of Dr. Monroe. Now, this is going to be homework, y'all, but I got something I want to show y'all. I want to show y'all how they put this shit in movies, okay? The island of Dr. Monroe is about the story of what Zeus did when he was on NERD and about how he created these human beings. This is the movie right here, y'all. I want y'all to go watch it. It's called The Island of Dr. Maria Monroe. I call him Monroe. Mario, it could be Mario, okay? But... The Island of Dr. Mario. This is all about, they made a whole movie. I need y'all to go watch it. They made a whole, watch it tonight. It's only $4. It's homework. They made a whole movie about what happened. And notice they put white faces. 
They knew not to make that. That's supposed to be Zeus. That's Zeus right there. That's that's Zeus, Prometheus, um, Satan, all right? Marduk, Inky. That's who he represents. Dr. Moreau represents him, all right? This, y'all gotta go watch it though. But this whole movie is about how when Zeus got on planet Nur, all right, how he was going through the different splicing and eugenics programs, creating these human beings, these werewolves, these vampires, and all these different weird creations, all right? And I'm gonna show y'all a little snippet of the movie. I want, because I want y'all to see something. I want y'all to see about the flesh, right? We're not supposed to eat flesh. And in this movie, right, that I gave y'all to look at for homework, they're going to say something in the movie about flesh, all right? Because this movie is about what actually happened, all right? So this is when they turned on Zeus. So when I do the creation story, all this shit going to click even more to y'all. Uh, if you don't know the creation story of the human, of the origin of human beings, I got that coming up in my next lecture after we finish the um, food spill. But bear with me, y'all. Uh, yeah, well, it's getting deep. I told y'all this is a night class. We can't get deep. I'm tying dots for y'all. Fact. We gonna tie these dots. I'm letting the computer load up. We gonna tie these dots, y'all. We gonna tie all the dots. Y'all hear me? Now check game. I want y'all to watch this. Now this clip like seven minutes, y'all. Let y'all know now, but I need y'all to watch it because I want y'all to watch the homework, but I'm gonna play the whole little seven minute clip for y'all. I need y'all to watch it because I need y'all to peep something at the end. But this is the point when they turned on Zeus. This is what really happened. The human beings, after so much, after so many years on Earth, they turned on Zeus. They did. But just peep this, peep these little seven, this little seven minute snippet real quick. And uh, I'm, we're going to keep the lecture going after this seven-minute snippet. But watch this, y'all. All right? So this is what was going on on Nern. Let me flip the camera around. Let's get it. Pay attention. This one they turn it on Zeus. Pay attention. Notice they are spliced. Half animal, half humanoid. These beings right here represent how human how human beings originally look before they reach their last phase, which is how they look today. Okay? And I'm gonna prove this to you by something called hypertrichosis. I'm gonna Google it for y'all. But look at this though. Pay attention. This is exactly what happened. They made a movie about the shit. Them turning on their creator. But just look at these creations, how they're spliced with all different type of shit, man. It's, it's actually sick. But this actually happened. Alright? This actually took place, people. You see them? Look at them. Half animals, half humanoids. Because that's from all the eugenics. All the splicing of the DNA that he was doing on that island. On the planet. Look at him. He represents Zeus. Notice all the animal sounds you they making. Yep, that's what Chewbacca came from. Exactly. Signs and symbols for the conscious mind. Shed his life, shed his life, start watch parties. Pay attention. He know they aggressive. So he's trying to play the piano to calm them down. He knows something not right. They, they have never went into his house before, y'all. There is a sort of music People. He's trying to play music to calm them down, to calm the animal instinct in them down, because he created them, people. Look, you see that bleeding? He had, ch he had chips in them. He had implants in them, chip implants to, that he used to control them people. Y'all need to go watch this movie. All right. The movie called The Island of Dr. Monroe. I'm going to pull it up again. Listen to him closely. Look how he look. What am I? That's what he asked Zeus. Yes, man, I'm like you. What? Hold on, y'all. Before I keep going, he just asked him, right? Because they had got to a point on the island where they recognized, hold on, we don't look like our creator. He asked Zeus, what am I? Now, y'all hear his ass growling, so that's the animal in him, but he's still humanoid, too. You seen he had on shoes and pants. This shit really happened, all right? And he asked Zeus, he asked his creator, what am I? Because I'm not like you. Keep paying attention. You are all my children. You hear him? No, I think. Zeus just told them, you are all my children. This, listen, this is where all this shit come from in the Bible, y'all. 
This is why all this shit come from in the Bible. All right? Because Zeus was their creator. Let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going. Look at that ugly thing. Look at that shit. You see how ugly he look? Y'all see how ugly that? Hold on. Did y'all see how ugly that thing looked? That's because Zeus was splicing all type of shit on that island. He was doing all type of eugenic experiments, people. Splicing the genomes and the DNA of different animals with other animals. All right? Remember, I told y'all, Zeus went outside of himself. He wanted people to praise him. So although they're showing Zeus is white, and they're calling him the, um, Dr. Monroe in this movie. This movie is about them. All right? So pay attention. Everyone be calm and you see that little ugly thing? Now. What are the things that tell me why you Now listen, let me put y'all on game. Y'all see the little ugly thing that just ran up to him and put it and gave him something? That's a tracking device because he had put chips in all his creations on the island. Now remember they just showed you when he looked down and saw the blood, he saw the chip was out. So he know that he can't control him. That's why he started playing the music because Satan was what the father of music. So up on this planet, he would play music to try to keep them calm, to, to, to try to tame the animal DNA in them. All right. But in this point, they had already found out they had got smart. This is what Planet of the Apes is about. Remember, Caesar got smart. This is about this. They basically was realizing, like, hold on. We be worshiping him. He be scaring us with thunder and shit. They show all that shit in here. This is where the whole scaring of the thunder come from. All right. I am a jealous God. Worship nobody but me. This is how Zeus, cre cre this is how Satan, Zeus tre treated white people, human beings, whites, Dravidians. They his creation. This is how he treated them. He would yell at them. He would beat them. He would make lightning strike out the sky and scare them. He would tell them he was a jealous God and they had to worship him. This is real shit. This is where all this come from in their Bible. Okay, this is why they call Jesus Jesus because Jesus is what Zeus. Okay, all right, well, let's go now. Listen to him. If y'all can't hear him, I'll just say what they're saying. Don't even worry about it because we got to keep the class going. If we are your children, uh, if he, you are my children, but love is necessary. Boom. So now they just ask Zeus, they say, If we're your children, then why do you shock us and control us with that thing? He said he don't know that they took it out, so he like. Well, you are my children, but law is necessary. That's what he just told them. Now, now let's keep it going. <clears throat> Peep game. If there is no more pain, then is there no more law? Now, these chips that he had implanted in his little creations, these human beings, when he created them, he had chips in them because they were half animal, half God. Remember this, they animal DNA. So what are animal, animals act off what? Instinct. This is why human beings act off instinct, all right? This is why they came on our planet and was acting like that. But notice what, what he just said, what they just said to Zeus. They said, if there is no more pain, then there could be no, is there no more law? That's what he just asked Zeus, all right? That's what they just asked him because they already took the chips out of them. Zeus don't know yet, though. So he don't know that when he hit that button to try to shock their ass to keep them under control, that it ain't going to work. Let's keep listening, though. All right, this all got to do with the food spell, people, because these, these represent the human beings right here, y'all. This is how they looked originally. See, half fucking pig mixed with a with a fucking monkey and some more shit in, in, in human DNA. This a fucking something mixed with something in human DNA. Yeah, this is what the fuck was going on. Exactly, this is what the fuck was going on. But let's keep going, though. There's always law. So Zeus just hit the button and told them there's always law. He hitting the button, but he see it ain't working. Let's keep it going. He see it's not working, y'all. You see he hitting it? He pressing it. You see? <laughs> See it? There it go right there. So he holding the track up in front of Zeus to let him know like bitch ass nigga. We own to you. We finna, we finna turn on you. That shit don't work no more. We didn't snatch them up out of us. Now pay attention to what these humans are about to say to Zeus. Zeus is really black, but they painted him white in this movie. But just pay attention to what they finna say to Zeus. And this is gonna explain to you why they forced meat on us as the gods. Peep game. Peep game. Pain no more. <laughs> That is the law. Now, Zeus had certain laws set up on Nern for them. Like they couldn't eat meat, they couldn't eat flesh, because Zeus knew this. He was electrical, he was a god. So the laws he had set up for them, they couldn't eat flesh, they couldn't eat meat. Um, they couldn't they couldn't walk on all fours. So they like they originally liked to run and walk on all fours. And to this day it's still human beings that run and walk on all fours, they grow tails, all that the whole nine. Facts. But he wouldn't let them walk on all fours, he wouldn't let them eat meat on that island, none of that. And that's how it really was on Nern. Zeus being a god. He wouldn't let them eat dead flesh and none of that, even though he made them out of dead flesh. But uh, he made them out of dead flesh and dead animals, so they still had the animal DNA in them, and animals eat meat. So that's why they wanted to eat meat. So they was going through hell on that planet. When y'all watch this movie, go see. 
They was going through hell the whole movie before they turned on him because he wouldn't let them run on all fours and let them be the animals that they truly are. He made them walk up right, put on clothes and shit. That's why they make us wear cloth today. Notice they have on clothes. They're not in their natural state. He wouldn't let them be in their natural state. All right. He would strike, strike, uh, 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 he would strike them with lightning and make lightning bolts hit the sky to scare them into doing what he wanted. All right. But one of the main things he wouldn't let them do is eat meat. Listen to what this, what these human beings are about to tell Zeus. Peep game. Peep game. All right. To slip out our ring. That is the law. We are not men. So you heard what he just told Zeus. He said to run on all fours. That's the new law. So they tell Zeus right now, like, we taking over this line, this, this island. We finna, we set our own laws up. He just told Zeus, he said, we, he said to run on all fours. That's the new law. We are not men. In reality, Zeus had was teaching them how to be gods on that planet. But they couldn't, they couldn't. You heard what he told you, like, we ain't gods. That's really what he told. That's what they told Zeus. We not gods. We not that. We are what we are, humans. We half animal, half God. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he just told Zeus. Like, he, like we ain't gods. We ain't men. You feel me? We not like you. We different than you. You created us, but we different than you. Watch this. Okay, so now remember Zeus had that law. He just held up a motherfucking rabbit head. Keep in mind they showed you a rabbit. Alright? But he held up a rabbit head. And he told Zeus, his creator, he say, to eat fish and flesh anytime we want. That is the new law. And then they killed him. Hold on. And then they gonna kill him. Look. No, I am the law. Okay. So they killed him. But right before they killed him, what did they tell Zeus? After, they said, now I am the law. So that's exactly what happened. After they turned on their creator. All right, and they set out looking for us and shit like that. All right, they conquered us. They had already turned on their creator, so they already came here super cold hearted, knowing everything they needed to know about us. They had already turned on Zeus. All right, so this food that they came with, this food spell, they already understood that the gods are electrical beings. They're not supposed to eat meat at all because they could eat meat when when they was on Earth with Zeus. So they purposely came and landed and poured and forced meat on our motherfucking ass because they knew the direct impact it would have on us. It also is a direct slap in the face to their creator, Zeus, who created them, who is still related to us. Yeah, this shit run deep with these human beings, you know what I'm saying? And they end up saying fucking Zeus and they took off on their own and they end up meeting the reptilians. And see, that's why I said I'm going to say about that for, you know, the, the, the origin story, how they met the reptilians while traveling through space and they had a common enemy and how they came together. But right now, we still on this food spell. And I, and I want to show y'all the island of Dr. Monroe a little bit. That's the movie about them, the creation story of them. They're not going to tell y'all that, but that's the movie. Go go order it on YouTube, free. The Island of Dr. Monroe, it's like $4.99. Y'all better order that. All right, let's keep it going, though. Let's keep it going, y'all. So what I'm telling y'all, I already been showing y'all the whole class why we don't need to be eating meat. But look, do you see why more, even more? He wouldn't let, They, human beings, wasn't allowed to eat meat on earth. They couldn't. They weren't able to start eating meat until they turned on him. It's actually one of the main reasons they turned on him, because they have animal DNA, so they can't help themselves. The animal in them is going to make them want that meat. You get what I'm saying? And they forced it upon us. We, we not animals, though. See, we're not supposed to eat meat because we don't have animal DNA. We created the animals for a different reason. They eat meat because they have animal DNA. All right? This is the metaphysical reason. Let's keep it going, though. We ain't come to fuck around today. Let's keep it going. So let's look at black, black celebs who spoke out against the food spell. All right? So, yeah, definitely drop them snorkel emojis like GP Gut Butter just did. Y'all share this. 152 people. I need all y'all to subscribe to my university, my YouTube channel at the bottom if you haven't. Share this live right now if you haven't. And start a watch party. We, we late night class. Let's keep it going. So... Exactly. That's why they call us animals because they are the real animals. We are electrical beings. So when you call yourself an African American or a human being, you are calling yourself a fucking animal. Um, Goddess Kalawala, not 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 using profanity at you, but you know, you call yourself an animal. You get what I'm saying? So, um, but we are not animals. We are not animals. We are gods. We are electrical beings. This is why, though. I I, I know why, but I'm I'm breaking down why to y'all in every lecture. All right. Before we can even get deep into the the cosmic history wars, we got to start at the surface. We got to work through these little spells and stuff. All right, so you can know what food father really is. All right, cattle. We are cattle to them. All right, we gonna we gonna break all that down. So black celebs who spoke out against the food spell. So if this food spell isn't real, people, let's see what happened to the black celebs that did speak out against the food spell. Let's see what they say when they try to get people off of the meat. What happened to them? Lisa left our lopes. Rest in peace to the goddess Lisa left our lopes. Even though we know we don't die, but she is in another dimension, so her physical form is gone. But this goddess crossover, she transcended. Lisa left our lopes. All right. A lot of people don't know that Left Eye got killed for trying to um, let the world know about Dr. Sebi teachings in the early 90s. That's the true reason she was killed. 
okay? And they lied and said it was a car accident. In reality, that way is not what happened. Uh, left Eye used to go overseas and sit down with Dr. Sebi personally, personally, Left Eye, and sit down with Dr. Sebi personally, and, and she, she believed in a lot of his teachings, and she was a student of his teachings and his lessons. And Dr. Sebi had taught her all about being electrical beings and why we spot not supposed to eat meats because we are the gods of this realm, all right? Animals eat meat, not gods. I repeat, animals eat meat, not gods. We are the god race, so that we are gods. That's the name of our species, literally, all right? So Lisa Left Eye Lopes was killed when she tried to warn people about the food spell. She didn't say food spell. She just said, hey, we need to, you know, stop eating meat and, you know, start eating a lot of more electrical foods. She started trying to put people on Dr. Seti. They killed her. All right. Let's keep it going. So this food spell real, y'all. If it wasn't, they wouldn't be killing people for trying to get help. They for, for trying to awaken the gods and goddesses and getting them to break it. All right. Let's, let's see who else got Nick Cannon, another person affected by the food spell who tried to speak out. Right. He tried to keep Dr. Seti work alive, didn't he? All right. Along with trying to stand up for the cause in any form of way when you know you're a part of Hollywood, what happened to him? They fired him. All right? Fired him. That's what happened to you when you're trying to speak out against the food spell. All right? You're trying to break the food spell. They fired him and threatened him and let him know if he keep doing it, they're they going to take his life. That's a fact. Or jail him. All right? That's a fact. Nick Cannon felt victim of trying to expose this food spell to his people. All right? Dr. Sebi himself was killed because... This man was a guru. He had mastered the herbs, okay? He understood that we were gods and goddesses. He understood that we were electrical beings. This is why he was telling people that you're supposed to eat electrical foods. Alkaline means electrical. That means fruits and vegetables, all right? But he even had deeper teachings where he told you you're not supposed to, you can really, you're really supposed to just eat the sun's rays, photon energy, and water because we are carbon, the basis from which all life forms, okay? We breathe out carbon, so we create life with just our breath. Every breath we breathe, Gives life to other organisms around us. This is a fact. We are powerful beyond measure, my people. Powerful beyond measure, my people. See, I'm just connecting the dots of why. See, Dr. Sebi didn't tell y'all was gods. He didn't just flat out say it like that. He just told, was trying to give y'all the hint. I'm raw. I'm raw with it. We gods. Because see, that's what I was here to put here to do. See, everybody that came before me, they was activators. The activators. I'm the bell, y'all. I'm the neo. I'm the one. I'm the one that the agents tried to destroy and stop the message from getting out. But they couldn't and they can't. Because... You got to remember, we all are one, right? We all the same. I'm you, you, me. Remember, I just dropped a video on my YouTube, which is why I be telling y'all, go watch my YouTube videos. Don't just look at them. They get dropped for a reason. They are lessons for the soul. Every lesson counts in trying to master yourself and get to this divine essence of you, okay? So, I would, like I was telling y'all, you know what I'm saying, on my, on my YouTube, we have to greet each other with electrical greetings. This is why I stop telling people, hey, stop saying good morning. Those, that's dead electricity. When you say this to somebody, you are electrical, so that's going to them in their electromagnetic field around them, which is their aura. Don't say good morning. Say grand rising. It's power in that because you're saying grand and rising. So you're, you're, you're activating that kundalini energy when you're even using the word rising because certain words that these human beings use are built around a certain energy that creates certain, um, certain realities. All right. They have based their syllables and their vowels around certain energies that create certain realities. All right. So when you say grand rising, all right, that's praising that being you're speaking to. This is why when I greet people, I don't say what's up no more. What's good, fam? What's good, bro? No, because I understand we are electricity. I say grand rising, goddess, grand rising, God. I don't even say king or queen no more because king is beneath a God. A king is beneath a God. A queen is beneath a goddess. All right. Human beings can never evolve to be gods and goddesses. They don't come from dark matter energy, carbon based beings. They are not that. So to replicate us, the highest form they can get to is a king or a queen in their little royal British nobility they created. Right. When after they had invaded us to try to mock what our greatness, which they can never emulate. All right. So we are electrical beings. We are gods. But this is why we are gods. And they are human beings. And that's OK, too. All right. But if you are black and Latino, stop mixing yourself in with them. And if you are human beings, stop trying to mix yourself in with us. Y'all are not gods and we are not human beings. And that's OK. That's okay. See what I'm saying? Y'all are human beings. That's okay. We are learning your history. We, we not, we're not knocking you as hard. We get it. You were bred this way. Okay? But y'all are human beings. We are gods. Right? And we were bred a certain way too. The natural guardians of the galaxy. Indestructible force of nature. We are indestructible force of nature. We can never die because we created energy. We are energy. We are nature. All right? This is why they killed Dr. Sebi for telling y'all, all right, this shit. A herbalist who claims to cure AIDS. You said they do you? A herbalist who claims. He didn't claim shit. He was doing it. But they don't want you to know that. They didn't want your black ass and your Latino ass to know that. Because what happens? You fucking up their money. You fucking up the church money. Now ain't nobody going to be going to the doctor no more. You know, the, the medical field brings in trillions of dollars a year off of us. All right? 
Did you know that you can heal yourself, people? If you stop eating so much food, you, the body heals itself. Facts, I had a whole abscess right here one time and I healed it with my mind. Didn't have to go to the hospital, it was gone. Never came back. I've broken bones before in fingers and healed them. All right, because I'm aware of this. All right, I'm aware of this truth. All right, I am aware of this truth. And I believe and understand this deep truth about us on a metaphysical level. Self-healing, self-healing, all right? But you can't heal when you're full of meat. You can't manifest your electricity to charge up your body to heal because you ain't got no fucking charger port. You put meat in your body, not electricity, and you wonder why the fuck the, your Wi-Fi ain't coming on on your phone because it's dead. You trying to get on Instagram and Facebook. You wonder why you can't get on the phone. Charge your fucking phone up. Maybe you can get on Instagram. All right? So it ain't even about, oh, well, they say don't eat meat. It's way deeper than that. You literally, are, you're not a fucking animal. How many canines do you have in your mouth? Four. Your, all your, your biological makeup is designed to eat plants and energy. You are a fucking plant. All right? That's why you have all these molars and only four canines. If you was designed to eat meat like the reptilians do, you have a mouthful of fucking canines. Now, as far as human beings, remember, they are part God, DNA, part animal. So they don't have to have a mouthful of canines because their genetic splicing of their blood is bred for them to seek out and crave meat. They need meat. So if you're a human being, don't, don't listen to me and try to run out to no goddamn sun talking about, oh, yeah, all we need is photon energy and water. That's for the gods. You run your human being out there and, and our sun and your ass is, is toast and cheese omelets. I'm letting you know right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to help you out. All right? You want to stay the fuck out the sun if you're a human being. Because what's about to happen when the second sun hit, y'all going to be going through spontaneous combustion. Y'all going to be blowing up from the inside. I'm being real. I'm being motherfucking real. That's a whole nother lie. Now, now, you can thank me later. Or you can get mad and think I'm racist and when your ass blow the fuck up. Or you see your mom or somebody around you just blow up. You know what I'm saying? You, and for y'all, and for those of y'all who think this shit is um not real, real quick, not to get off topic, for y'all who think it's not real, all right? For y'all who don't believe in spontaneous combustion, I heard somebody say, oh, that's some shit from a cartoon. Oh, okay. Keep thinking that. Spontaneous. So somebody just said that they, somebody thinks spontaneous combustion ain't real. You, you, you think, so you don't, you don't know. Y'all never heard of spontaneous combustion? Like human beings, I'm letting y'all know right now. When this sun hit, it's, it's charging up with so much energy that y'all can't take. The, the y'all are, y'all have melanin. All right. Melanin is a, is a genetic, is a generic form of carbon. All right. This all Zeus can, this all Zeus can do for y'all. Okay. So this is why y'all can't take no sun. This is why y'all have went through spontaneous combustion over the years. But when this second sun hit, it's going to be happening all around the motherfucking globe. Unless you are right spiritually, white man, human being. I'm not saying this, being, I'm helping you. If you're not right spiritually and you're a human being, because you only have a spirit, y'all don't even have a soul. So if your electricity isn't right, I mean, if you do have any hatred toward black people, anybody, need to let it go. All right, I'm trying to let you know now, because that's the only way you're going to be able to even have a chance of rising. All right, because if not, y'all you, going to be going through what's called spontaneous combustion because the melanin in your biological and your biochemical makeup cannot take the rays from the sun's energy because the sun is composed of what? At its base form, carbon, highly charged carbon that y'all can't motherfucking take. All right? This is how spontaneous combustion looks. Why somebody want to laugh and play? Does that like playing? Yeah, people blowing up in pieces. Spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous combustion. Spontaneous combustion. It's coming for you motherfuckers. It's coming for you bitches who did what y'all did on our planet. Because see, it ain't going to just be us fucking y'all up. Remember, how? that's why they told y'all in the Bible. How was the world destroyed the first time? By water. Who brought the water? The human beings and reptilians did when y'all took over our planet and knocked it off electromagnetic balance, causing it to wobble. Bringing all this cold air with these fake clouds and this and this um this this ice and this cool and this water. That's what they. That's why they told you the first world was destroyed by the flood. That was symbolic for them. And then they told you the second time it get destroyed, it's gonna be destroyed by what? Fire. What's the fire? Us. The gods recharging. The second sun coming back. The gods. The root. The true creators of planet Kai getting back in tune with the Kundalini energy, which is what. The blue fire, the blue flame. Not only is our flame rising, but the whole fucking flame on the planet. That's why fires is breaking out all over California and everywhere. They coming from in the earth. Yeah, she's on y'all ass. It's not just going to be us. It's us. It's one. The planet kicking y'all ass as well as we finna kick y'all ass. It's finna get real. That's why I keep telling y'all. Don't be tripping about no, about no um, Jacob Blake, no George Floyd, no, no Breonna Taylor. Listen, we finna get on they ass in a way. Listen, on that day, they listen, human beings, look into my soul when I say this because I know y'all don't have one. On that day when we shift, y'all will witness a power like no other. And everything that y'all have done to our ancestors, our planet, we will remember. And it's not going to be a, 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 
a mountain you can hide in, an underground tunnel you can dig, a galaxy you can go to. Because when we activate, <laughs> once we activate in this Kundalini energy here, y'all gonna see the true power of rage and fury. See, rage and fury is a part of us. They didn't tell you that. Not anger. Anger is an emotion. That's man-made. I said rage and fury. That which we come from. Chaos. Chaotic beings. Y'all don't understand that we are fucking machines of war. We honestly are. Our physical makeup. All right? Let's keep going. Spontaneous combustion coming for y'all last. All right? But that's why they killed Dr. Sebi. All right? He was exposing that. Nipsey Hussle, last but not least, tried to carry Dr. Sebi teachings on, right? Which was letting people know that we were gods. All right? That's why Nipsey had that tattoo on his face. God will rise. He understood that he was a god, that we were all one. All right? But they didn't understand when they killed Nipsey... That's what's, that's the last that the Ananuki gods wasn't taking no more. The killing of him and the passing on of his soul back up to the Sirius star system is what activated the whole ship. All right? That was like, it was going to be activated anyway. But this it was all by design, my people. All by design, my people. See, everything happens in divine order, all right? Everything happens in divine order, all right? But that's why they did that to Nipsey. But don't trip. Nipsey not dead, all right? These people that pass on, they are blocked off from this dimension, all right? They can't come back. Some of them can't come back because of how high their, their, dark, their dark matter energies is, all right? But that's a whole other lecture. Let's keep it going. The use of advertising to hypnotize the soul. I broke down what we are metaphysically. We are nothing but chakras, energy, electrical beings. All right. This is why every fucking restaurant is using hip. They are hip. They are using advertising to hypnotize the soul. Notice what are your lowest chakras? Your lowest chakra is your root chakra. Vibrates red. Your second one up deals with pleasure. Vibrates yellow. Notice every fucking restaurant. What colors are in the motherfucking logo? Red and yellow in every motherfucking restaurant. And that is by design, people, because they understand the molecular you, the metaphysical you. They understand what you truly are. OK, the lowest your lower self vibrates red and yellow. Y'all better shed this motherfucking live. Y'all better shed this live and act like y'all ain't just learned some brown, some ground breaking information. All right. Once again, the use of advertising to hypnotize the soul. OK. They are using the colors of your natural electromagnetic field to hypnotize your soul. Your motherfucking ass ain't home.